48 Haizanu section 1 Give your O heavens Rabbi Yehuda speaks of the many times that Moses reproved Israel but tells us that Moses said all these things with love always reminding the people how much God loved them Rabbi Yitzhak says that Moses had always refused to be guided by anyone other than God himself he would not be guided by any angel or messenger Moses never trembled before the voice of God or any messenger and yet after he died Joshua was afraid of God's messengers God was no longer as available to Israel as he had been during Moses lifetime 1 Give your O heavens and I will speak and hear O earth the words of my mouth Devarim 321 Rabbi Yehuda opened with I opened to my beloved but my beloved had turned away and was gone I sought him but I could not find him I called him but he gave me no answer Sure Hashirim 56 before that it is written I sleep but my heart wakes a bit too I sleep says the congregation of Israel I sleep away from it Commandments of the Torah when I travel the wilderness but my heart wakes to bring them to the land of Israel to legislate laws for them for all the commandments of the Torah are present in the land of Israel heart my beloved is knocking even refers to Moses who reproved Israel with many arguments and quarrels as written these are the words Devarim 11 you have been rebellious Devarim 924 and also in Horeb you provoked to this is the meaning of knocking to the Moses Reproved Israel all his words were with love as written for you are a holy people to Hashem your Elohim Hashem your Elohim has chosen you to be a special people to himself Devarim 76 you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 but you that did cleave Devarim 44 therefore obey the voice of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 2710 because Hashem loved you Devarim 78 this is the meaning of open to me my sister my love sure Hashem 52 spoken affectionately 3 it is written I rose up to open to my beloved before Israel said while we were ready to enter the land of Israel and accept the commandments of the Torah through Moses it is written but my beloved had turned away and was gone as written so Moses the servant of Hashem died there Devarim 345 I sought him but I could not find him as written and there arose not a prophet since in Israel like Moses Ibn 10 I called him but he gave me no answer since there was no generation like the generation of Moses that the Holy One blessed be he obeyed their voices and performed miracles and made laws for them as he did through him for Rabbi Yitzhak said I rose up to open to my beloved refers to the Holy One blessed be he during the life of Moses who refused all his days to be guided by an angel or messenger as written if your presence go not with me Shema 3315 blessed is the portion of Moses that the Holy One blessed be he approved of his desire but my beloved had turned away and was gone during the life of Joshua as written no but I am captain of the host of Hashem Yahashua 514 5 come and see Moses used to hear the holy sound of the supernal king yet did not tremble nor did he tremble before an angel whom he did not wish to accept after he died it is written and he said no but I am captain of the host of Hashem and Joshua fell on his face to the earth I am now come but during the days of Moses your master yet I was not accepted at that time Israel recognized it value of Moses at that time Israel sought the holy one blessed be he but he was not as available as during Moses lifetime this is the meaning of I sought him but I could not find him section 2 give your O heavens hear heavens Rabbi Shia tells us about the time that Isaiah said hear heavens and give your earth when Isaiah was then challenged by a voice he answered that it was not he himself who was speaking and yet when Moses spoke it was indeed his own Voice Rabbi Yossi's interpretation is that Moses was addressing the supernal heaven and earth while Isaiah was addressing the lower heavens and earth. 6 Give your O heavens and I will speak. Rabbi Shia said Moses' portion is blessed above that of any prophet in the world. Come and see it is written. Hear heavens and give your earth for Hashem has spoken. Yeshayah 12 Hear heavens it is written in Isaiah who was further away from the king. Hear heavens as for Moses who was nearer to the king. It is written Give your O heavens. 7 We learned that when Isaiah said Hear heavens and give your earth many prosecutors came to break his head. A voice resounded saying who is that who wishes to shake worlds. Then he opened with the words it is not I nor is it mine but Hashem has spoken and not I of Moses. It is written Give your O let the heavens and I will speak. I am no other I will speak without fear and hear O let the earth the words of my mouth and not anybody else is blessed. Is his portion Rabbi Abba said in the engraved letters of Rabbi Lazar he said in gifts spelled with Bob here the head hey heavens and Habab I will speak and hear the head hey earth the holy supernal name is alluded to namely why you d Bob hey Rabbi Yossi said another difference between Moses and Isaiah is that Moses said hear the heavens with the definite article the heavens namely the supernal heavens those known to be called the name of the holy one blessed be he and hear the earth is the supernal earth the one known to be the land of the living namely Malchut in Isaiah it is written hear heavens instead of the heavens because these are the lower heavens and earth nevertheless they wanted to punish him until he said for Hashem has spoken and not I Moses spoke much more as written give your the heavens and I will speak and hear the earth the words of my mouth who are Zeir and Ben and Malchut he did not fear and none wanted to punish him section Three, the apple tree and the lily Rabbi Yitzhak says how blessed Israel is to be under the direct care of God rather than to have been assigned to one of his appointed ministers. He says that God is like an apple that has three colors and the congregation of Israel Malchut is like a lily that has two colors. The three colors of the apple allude to Chesed, Bura and Tiferet while the two colors of the lily allude to judgment and Chesed the patriarchs are also the three colors joined in the apple. Nine, Rabbi Yitzhak opened with like the apple tree. Sure, Hasherim 23, happy is the portion of Israel more than all the idolatrous nations because all the other nations were handed to appointed ministers to control them as for holy Israel. Happy is their portion in this world and in the world to come that the holy one blessed be he gave them neither to an angel nor to another ruler but took them for his own portion. This is the meaning of for Hashem's portion is his people. Devarim 329 and 4. Hashem has chosen Jacob to himself. Tehillim 1354 Like the apple tree among the trees of the wood, just as the apple tree is different in color from all the other trees in the field, so is the Holy One. Blessed be he separated and marked above all higher and lower legions. Hence his name is Hashem Seviat, which means he is assigned Hebotee throughout the celestial army. Hebzavit 10 Come and see the Holy One. Blessed be he is like an apple that has in it three colors white, red, and green. That indicate Chesed, Bura, and Typhor at the congregation of Israel, who is Malchut, is like a lily. What is a lily? Rabbi Abba said it is a generic lily, a lily of six petals. The colors of such a lily are white and red, and it is all of two colors red and white that indicate judgment. And Chesed, such as the congregation of Israel, who is Malchut 11, the Holy One. Blessed be he is like an apple tree. The congregation of Israel is like a lily, for thus spoke the congregation of Israel aroused you under. The apple tree Sher Hasherim 85 he asks where is this under the apple tree and answers these are the patriarchs we mentioned Chesed, Bura and Tiferet that are called patriarchs Rabbi Yossi said it is Jubilee namely by the called apple tree Rabbi Abba said everything is correct because the patriarchs we mentioned are the three colors joined in the apple 12 Rabbi Yitzhak said how did the congregation of Israel become a part of the lily by loving kisses with which Malchut cleaved to the supernal king Zeir and then she took from his two lips two roses as written his lips like lilies Sher Hasherim 513 this is why the congregation of Israel said let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth Sher Hasherim 12 since then she is included in the lilies in his two lips that are called lilies section 4 7 firmaments and 7 planets Rabbi Yehuda says that God is called heaven and thus all the firmaments are also included in this name when it Firmaments are joined together they are called heaven and therefore they are also called the name of God Rabbi Yehuda goes on to list these seven firmaments Rabbi Yitzhak recalls that Rabbi Shimon compared all the seventy spirot of the king to seven firmaments and seven planets and that although the planets are called by physical names they actually conceal all the firmaments we are told the names of the seven planets and given their relationship to the seven supernal spirot Rabbi Yossi says that the rabbis find these matters easy to understand even though they are concealed by certain terms Rabbi Shimon admonishes the other rabbis to forget about the very because they know the greater wisdom of the Kabbalah and have revealed what was never revealed to ancient sages 13 Rabbi
Seven planets Shabtai, Saturn, Sidek, Jupiter, Mayadam, Mars, Jamas, Undo, Gavinus, Kachop, Mercury, Lavana, Moon, they relate these seven supernal Sphira to those names of the planets wishing to conceal matters, namely regarding those of whom it is written, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you, Yeshaya 4713, they conceal matters under these names even though they are not the ways of the Torah but astrological language but we follow the ways of it. Torah namely allude to everything and conceal it with words of Torah as written and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. Bereshit 2618 namely we follow the words of the Holy One, blessed be he namely the language of the Torah and walk with him as written and walk in his ways. Devarim 289.15 Rabbi Yossi said these words namely other names mentioned above are easy to the friends and the words are understood though they are concealed by foreign terms he said to him and so have we learned like Rabbi Yehuda said that Rabbi Shia said before us and so have we learned from these Biraito that during Solomon's days the moon stood full that his mouth was full and face to face with Zeir and which is why wisdom was so prevalent and many people understood the words of these Biraito 16 Rabbi Shimon said I have raised my hands in prayer to the Holy Supernal One that these subjects the wisdom of Kabbalah were uncovered by me in that world it Way they were covered in my heart, and we do not use these ways of the Biraito but apply the ways of the Torah to interpret this discipline. 17 We learned that Rabbi Yehuda said, who is great in wisdom like King David and his son King Solomon, in attaining that sphere known by these Biraito that is the sphere of Malchut, King David called the moon, which is Malchut righteousness, because it is as he being a chariot to Malchut has written open to me the gates of righteousness, I will go into them and I will praise Yahweh. 11,819 King Solomon also called it righteousness, and it is called righteousness, the sun that is called in the Biraito a covenant, namely as it is called justice, and both are the throne of glory of the kings. Eir and has written righteousness, and justice are the foundation of your throne. 8,915 Because the righteous and righteousness is it, and Malchut are also in the same grade, which is why they are mentioned together in the words righteousness and Justice are the foundation of your throne. We learned that the seven Sfirat Chisit, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadyazit, and Malchut are nine, that is together with Chakma and Bana, and even in these Birito, seven firmaments are nine. Eighteen Rabbi Shimon said, How long will the friends read these things? Namely, the Birito, we follow the Holy One, blessed be he, and we know the subjects of the wisdom of Kabbalah. We have revealed what was not revealed to ancient sages from now on. Leave all these things. And all the Birito to those who did not go in and out, namely those who entered the wisdom but did not leave it because they did not understand it. Let their children come and inquire about this wisdom, and when they will, the friends will say to them, Woe to the generation from which Rabbi Shimon Bar has departed, yet come and see from now on there shall be no generation like this one, and Torah will not be disclosed by the friends. Section 5 Moses revealed on it. Day he passed away, Rabbi Shimon says that the last generation that left Egypt knew everything because Moses revealed it all to them during the forty years that they wandered in the wilderness. Rabbi Yitzhak had taught that even Moses only revealed secrets on the last day before he died. Once he was given permission to reveal them, the poem that Moses delivered to the people was drawn from the Holy Spirit downwards, and he called on the name of God when he spoke. Nineteen, come and see the last generation that left Egypt knew everything because Moses revealed it to them all the forty years they were in the wilderness. As I said, we learned that Rabbi Yitzhak said even Moses revealed it only on the day he departed from the world, as written. I am hundred and twenty years old. This day, Devarim three hundred and twelve, on the very day he passed away, hence he did not speak until he was given permission, as written. Now therefore, write this poem for yourselves. Ibid nineteen, when he did reveal, he did not say give. Hear Yisrael, but give your O heavens to Barum 321 20 Rabbi Yossi said it is written this poem that is now therefore write this poem for yourselves could it be called a poem I should have said this Torah Rabbi Yitzhak said it is surely a poem as a poem is drawn through the Holy Spirit from above downwards so these words also were drawn through the Holy Spirit from above downwards this is why Moses spoke of a poem 21 come and see all that Moses has spoken and called to the high once before he uttered a word as written give your O heavens my doctrine shall drop as the rain of it two why all that because I will call on the name of Hashem of it three before he said that he caused all the worlds to tremble 22 we learned that when Moses said give your O heavens and I will speak the world shook a voice resounded saying Moses Moses why are you shaking the whole world you are human shall the world shake because of you he opened and said I will call on the name of Hashem at that moment they became silent and listened to his words the holy idris of the smaller assembly section six the day when rabbi shimon wanted to depart from the world this section begins to tell about the events surrounding rabbi shimon's voluntary departure from the world many of the friends are with him although they come and go as rabbi shimon requests them to a fire in circles the whole house as he prepares to reveal things that he has never before had permission to reveal and rabbi abba is charged with writing down his revelations rabbi shimon begins by saying that the living are the righteous and anyone who is wicked is considered to be dead he says that god delights in the honor of the righteous even more than his own honor next rabbi shimon tells the other rabbis that he can see two rabbis who died some time earlier together with 70 righteous people all shining with the radiance of the most hidden at the statement that other rabbis tremble. Rabbi Shimon says that during his whole life he was attached to God, and now at the end, God and all his holy followers have come joyfully to listen to hidden secrets and to the praise of Atika Kaddish. At 23, we learned that on the day Rabbi Shimon wanted to depart from the world and was putting his affairs in order, the friends gathered in the house of Rabbi Shimon before him were Rabbi Lazar, his son, and Rabbi Abba, and other friends, and the house was full. Rabbi Shimon lifted up his eyes and saw that the house became full. Rabbi Shimon went and said, Another time when I was ill, Rabbi Pinches Ben Yahir was before me, and they waited for me until I inquired about my place in the Garden of Eden. When I returned, the fire circled me, which never stopped. No one entered my house except by permission. Now I see the fire stopped, and behold, the house is full. 24, while they were sitting, Rabbi Shimon opened his eyes and saw what he saw, and fire encircled the house. Everybody left and only Rabbi Lazar, his son, and Rabbi Abba remained while the rest of the friends stayed outside. Rabbi Shimon said to Rabbi Lazar, his son, Go out and see if Rabbi Yitzhak is here because I was a guarantor for him. Tell him to settle his affairs and sit by me. Happy is his portion. 25. Rabbi Shimon rose and sat down, laughed, and rejoiced. He said, Where are the friends? Rabbi Lazar rose and let them in, and they sat before him. Rabbi Shimon raised his hands, recited a prayer, and was glad. He said, Let the friends that were present at the assembly, namely the Idra Rabbi, come here. They all left, and Rabbi Lazar, his son, Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Shia stayed in the meanwhile. Rabbi Yitzhak entered. Rabbi Shimon said to him, How deserved is your portion? How much joy should be added to you on this day? Rabbi Abba sat behind him, and Rabbi Lazar before him. 26. Rabbi Shimon said, Now it is time of goodwill, and I want to come without shame into the world to come here. Our holy matters. That I have not revealed until now I wish to reveal them before the Shechina so it shall not be said that I have gone from this world in want, until now they have been hidden in my heart so I can enter through them into the world to come. 27 This is how I am going to arrange you Rabbi Abba shall write Rabbi Lazar my son shall recite orally and the other friends shall mutter speak in their heart Rabbi Abba rose from behind his back Rabbi Lazar was sitting in front of him Rabbi Shimon said to him rise my son for another shall sit in this place Rabbi Lazar rose 28 Rabbi Shimon wrapped himself in his garment and sat down he started by saying the dead cannot praise Yah nor can any who go down into silence have to Mateo 11,517 surely the dead cannot praise Yah those who are considered dead because the Holy One blessed be he is called living and dwells among those who are called living namely the righteous and not with those that are considered dead namely the wicked dead. End of the verse proves it is written nor can any who go down into Duma namely all those who go down to the angel Duma and remain in Gehenom but it is not so with those who are called living
rose and sat at the corners of the house and Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Abba remained before Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon said in the Idra Rabba the state was that all the friends were talking and I among them now I shall alone speak and everyone will listen to my words higher and lower beings happy is my portion on this day 31 he opened with I am my beloved and his desire is towards me sure hashering 711 all the days I was connected to this world I was attached with one connection with the holy. One blessed be he and hence now his desire is towards me for he and all his holy camp have come with joy to listen to hidden words and the praise of the most hidden Atika Kaddisha which is separated and divided yet is not divided since everything cleaves to him and he cleaves to everything he is everything section 7 nine lights that glow with the establishments of Atika Rabbi Shimon talks about the most ancient among the ancient Atika saying that when it was established it produced nine lights or Sphira he tells us about the nature of Atika Kaddisha and how it can be known by the lights that emanate from it 32 the most ancient among the ancient Atika which is called the unknown head which is most concealed was established yet not established it was established in order to maintain everything but from its own aspect it was not established because its own establishments reveal nothing of its own nature and it cannot be found that is it is Incomprehensible 33 when it was established it produced nine lights which are the nine Sfarah Kedar Shachma Bina Chesed Vira Tifer Net Sachat and Yezid of Eric and the garments of which are Abba and I am a male and female that glow from it from the unknown head from its establishments these nine lights shine from it which Esedim glow from it with Vira and spread in every direction both to Shachma and to Shesedim like a candle from which lights stream in every direction when one approaches to observe the spreading lights only the candle alone can be observed that is the candle and the light streaming from the candle are not two things since the light spreading from it has no self-existence or power because all its existence lies within that candle if you take the candle to a different place the lights shall spread in a different place and nothing will remain of them in the former place such as Atika Kadisha it is a lofty most hidden candle incomprehensible save for the light spreading from it, some of which are revealed and some of which are hidden, they are called the holy name, but the light spreading from Atika Kadisha have no self existence. Heaven forbid, all their existence is within Atika Kadisha, though they are comprehensible, and Atika Kadisha is not like light streaming from a candle. For that reason, it is all 134. The friends have said in ancient books that the changes spreading from IT are created graves, that is, they come into being through the establishments created, and that Atika Kadisha is revealed through each of them, since they are the constructions of Atika Kadisha, that is, they are types of covers over the illumination of blessed endless light, and through these covers, the lower beings are able to comprehend it. Its creation is in relation to people, but in the light itself, there is no change. Heaven forbid, this is like a man who puts on clothes to appear before his neighbors, that man is not affected at all by these. Covers though others are this is not the time for these matters because I have already spoken of them in the holy idra but now I realize what I have not known that well which until now was hidden in my heart now I alone testify before the holy king and before all the truly righteous who came to hear these matters section 8 the skull of Atika here Rabbi Shimon talks about the skull of the head of Eric Enpin and the flow that spreads and shines from it we hear about the dew of plenty that drips every day to Zer Enpin and with which the dead will be resurrected in the time to come within that head the supernal wisdom is hidden that is called the supernal brain it can be comprehended only by itself 35 the skull namely Keter of the white head namely the head of Eric Enpin which is holy white the secret of the reign of Jesus has neither beginning nor ending for revealing Chakma the secret of supernal Chakma and lower Chakma for the flow of Chakma and the flow of Shesedim are joined in it into one light of Shesedim its joint flow spreads and shines from IT and from it the righteous receive 400 desirable worlds for the world to come from the joint flow which is the white head dew drips namely plenty daily to Zerampin which is a place called heaven with it that do the dead shall be resurrected in the future to come as written therefore Elohim give you of the dew of heaven Bereshit 2728 namely the dew of Zeir Anpin that is called heaven and his head is filled from Zerampin it flows to the field of apple trees which is Malchut and the whole field of apple trees radiates with this 236 the Satika which is Eric Anpin is hidden and obscured and concealed supernal Chakma of Eric Anpin is in that skull which is Keter of Eric Anpin surely only the head alone was exposed in that Atika because it is the beginning or head of every beginning supernal Chakma which is a head is hidden within it. it Head of Eric Enpin and is called the supernal brain, the covered brain, the subdued and quiet brain, none can comprehend it save it itself. Section 9 The three heads of Atika we learn about the three heads that are imprinted one inside another and one over another. One of these is concealed Chakma, one is the most hidden Atika Kadisha, and the third is absolutely incomprehensible. Rabbi Shimon talks about the hairs that come out of the skull of Eric Enpin. We learn that the hairs are all smooth and equal in weight. He says that Atika always abides in the 13 attributes of mercy. 37 Three heads were imprinted one inside another that is concealed Chakma inside the skull and one over another, namely the unknown head above the skull. He explains one head is concealed Chakma, which is undisclosed and unopened. This concealed Chakma is a beginning to every other beginning of other Chakma. This is the first head from below upwards. The second head is a Supernal head, the most obscured Atika Kadisha, which is the skull of Eric Enpin, the third head that is lofty above everything. I ask the head for every head, a head that is not a head, that is its being a head indicates it is a beginning of expansion and comprehension. Yet this head is entirely incomprehensible because no one knows nor is it known what is in this head because it is attached neither to Chakma nor to Tavun. It is therefore considered. Therefore now flee to your place, Bimid Bar 2411. And the living creatures ran and returned Yashiskal 114 because no comprehension can apply there. 38 for this reason, Atika Kadisha, which is the skull of Eric Enpin, is called not since not derives from it from the unknown head that is since this head, the skull is close to the unknown head which is utterly incomprehensible. It too is incomprehensible and is therefore called not which indicates its complete incomprehensibility for that reason all hairs and tiny hairs over the skull. Do not come out of the skull because no judgments are attached to it, but they come out of the concealed brain, which is the beginning of the expansion of Chakma for supernal Chakma spreads from it. This Chakma is eventually revealed in Malchud where there is place for judgments and the hairs are the root of judgments, as in for he crushes me with a tempest or a hair. IYOB 917, hence the hair of the head and beard come out of the concealed brain, though in this case there are no judgments in the hairs but roots only, therefore they are all smooth that is soft without judgment and they are all equal in weight because everything here is of the same light of mercy and the back of the neck is invisible, which indicates judgments and hind parts according to the verse and they have turned their back to me and not their face. Here may 3233 39 all this stems from the fact that this Atika is of the same light, namely the reign of Chesedim, which is why there is no room for judgment too. Appear it is all in joy and never changes from the illumination of mercy that is though we distinguish between three columns right left and central and it, it never strays from the aspect of the right column and is ever of mercy and chesedim in nature it abides in the thirteen attributes of mercy because the hidden chakma in it divides three times into fours which is twelve and it, atika itself includes them and rules over everything together with it there are thirteen attributes. Section 10 The path where the hairs split Rabbi Shimon says that the path that shines in the division of the hairs that come out of the hidden brain is the path of the righteous he talks about the supernal keter above that is a hidden and entirely unknown higher candle forty one path shines in the middle of the division of the hairs that come out of the concealed brain which is concealed chakma it is the path where the righteous shine in the world to come as written but the path. Of just men is like the gleam of sunlight, Mishlei 418, then shall you delight yourself in Hashem Yashaya 5814. From this path shine all other paths that derive from Zer Enpin, which are 613 paths 41. This Atika, which is Eric Enpin, the oldest among the old, from which derives supernal Ava and Iame that are considered old, is the supernal Keter above, namely Keter of Eric Enpin, with which all crowns are decorated, namely all Mokin for Mokin are considered crowns, which are the seven characteristics of the head that shall be explained, and the thirteen characteristics of the beard and the crowns shine from it, which are Ava and Iame, and the other candles, namely seven lower Sphirot, which contain judgments glow from it and
Sanctified and connected and revert to one and are one section 12 the forehead of the will of Eric Enpin we learn that on Shabbat during the Minchah service the forehead of Atika Kadisha that is called will is revealed and at this time all judgments are subdued and there is mercy throughout all the worlds 43 the forehead that is revealed in Atika Kadisha that is in Eric Enpin is called will for the supernal head that is concealed above extends one force. Mitigated and comely that is included in the forehead and revealed by reconciliation hence this forehead is called will 44 when this will is exposed in the forehead the will of all wills is present throughout the worlds that is this complete illumination reaches all worlds all prayers below are accepted and the face of Zer Enpin shines everything is in a state of mercy and all judgments hide and are subdued 45 on Shabbat during Minchah service which during weekdays is a time when all judgments awaken on Shabbat. This forehead is revealed of Eric Enpin as the desire to illuminate which has him. All judgments are subdued and mercy abides throughout the world. Hence, Shabbat is without judgment above as well as below. Even the fire of Gehenom sinks into its place and evil people take rest. Therefore, an additional soul of joy is added on Shabbat. Section 13 The three meals of Shabbat. Rabbi Shimon recalls that he has never neglected the three meals. On Shabbat in his whole life, he says that the three meals are the meal of the queen, the meal of the holy king, and the meal of the most hidden Atika Kadisha in the world. Beyond one will be able to merit all these grades. 46 One must rejoice in the three meals on Shabbat for the whole faith and the entirety of faith is present in it. And one must set his table, eat the three meals of faith and rejoice in them. 47 Rabbi Shimon said, I bring all those present here as witnesses that I have never. Neglected these three meals in my life due to their merit I did not have to resort to fasting on Shabbat and even on other weekdays I did not have to fast and all the more so on Shabbat for whoever merits them merits the entire faith they are one is the meal of the queen namely on Shabbat because night is the domain of Malchut one is the meal of the holy king who is Zeir Anpin that is during the meal of Mincha when Zeir Anpin rises to Atika Kadisha and one is the meal of the most concealed Atika Kadisha at the morning meal for on Shabbat Atika Kadisha is shining by means of supernal Abba and Ima and Zeir Anpin receives the illumination from them but at Mincha of Shabbat Zeir Anpin himself ascends to Atika Kadisha and receives his illumination hence that meal is named after Zeir Anpin and the morning meal after Atika Kadisha in that world one can merit these grades when this will in the forehead is revealed all judgments are subdued in their chains. Section 14 Concealed Chakma of Eric Enpin and Revealed Chakma We are told that the establishment of Atika Kadisha is such that it is one structure that includes all others it is supernal Chakma that incorporates all the rest and is called supernal hidden Eden 48 The establishment of Atika Kadisha is such that it was established as one structure that includes all structures it is supernal hidden Chakma namely the third head of Eric Enpin which incorporates all the rest and is called supernal hidden Eden it is the brain of Atika Kadisha this brain expands in every direction and from it spreads another Eden supernal Abba and I am a that our lower Eden from that Eden Chakma is engraved and starts to reveal itself in Yisrael Saba and Tevuna Zeir Enpin and Malchud which is the secret of lower Chakma where Chakma is revealed Section 15 The unknown head divested of the force that is contained in the forward Rabbi Shimon explains it. Genesis of the beard of Eric Enpin that is called supernal Chisa he says that this is the characteristic called abundant in love 49 that hidden head in the head of Atika which is unknown namely the first head when it extended a force constructed so as to illuminate it struck through IT that brain namely the concealed Chakma of Eric Enpin became engraved and shown with many lights concealed Chakma produced its illumination and marked a reconciliation so to speak in that forward then. A light which is called will was imprinted on that forward which spread downwards through the 13 characteristics of the beard of Eric Enpin down to the place where it settled in the beard called supernal Chisa this is the characteristic called abundant in Chisa namely the eighth of the 13 characteristics of the beard when this will is revealed through the characteristic of abundant in love the prosecutor see it and surrender section 16 opening. The eyes we learn that the eyes of Atika Kadisha never sleep and for that reason have neither eyebrows nor eyelids both these eyes are actually one the brain is called the fountain of blessing and since it glows with the three kinds of whiteness in the eyes then blessings come out of the eye Rabbi Shimon says that the concealed book taught him that the letters yud hey derive from Atika in order to support those letters below for that reason the holy name is both hidden and revealed. The hidden part corresponding to Atika Kadisha and the revealed part to Zer Enpin thus all blessings should contain both the hidden and the revealed 50 as for the eyes of the head of Atika Kadisha which is Eric Enpin both eyes are as one they constantly observe and never sleep as written behold he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep Tehillim 1214 which refers to holy Israel Zeir Enpin for that reason he has neither eyebrows nor eyelids 51 this brain namely concealed. Chakma of Eric Enpin is engraved and shines with three types of whiteness in the eye with one kind of whiteness in them the eyes of Zer Enpin wash in milk is written washed with milk Hasherim 512 which is Jesus called milk it derives from the first kind of whiteness in the three types of white in the eyes of Eric Enpin being the right column the other kinds of white wash and illuminate the other candles namely the other grades 52 the brain which is concealed Chakma is called the fountain of blessing being the fountain whence all blessings flow since this brain glows with the three kinds of white in the eyes then blessings come out of the eye is written he that has a generous eye shall be blessed Mishle 229 because the whiteness of the eye derives from the brain when that eye observes Zer Enpin everyone shines joyfully this eye even though it has in it the three columns right left and central is nevertheless all right and has no left in it but the lower Eyes those of Zeir Enpin are right and left two that have two natures the right is Jesus and the left is Bureau of the Illumination of Chakma 53 we learned in Safar Detzini the concealed book that there is an upper yud and a lower yud and upper hay and a lower hay and upper bob and a lower bob all the upper ones derive from Atika and the lower ones are in Zeir Enpin they do not derive from him but are actually in him since Zeir Enpin is called Yudhe Bob hay and the secret of it. Letters applies to him but from Atika Kadisha they just derive that is the roots of the four letters Yudhe Bob hay are in it but not the actual letters for the name of Atika is hidden from all and is incomprehensible but those letters Yudhe Bob hay derive from Atika in order to support those letters below for otherwise the lower ones would not have survived 54 for that reason the holy name is both hidden and revealed the hidden part corresponds to the most hidden Atika Kadisha and it. Revealed part is in Zer Enpin therefore all blessings should contain both the hidden and the revealed that is they should contain the second present person as in blessed are you and the third hidden person who has sanctified us and commanded us which is hidden it is hidden to correspond to the hidden letters that derive from Atika Kadisha and revealed to correspond to the letters in Zeir Enpin section 17 the nose of Eric Enpin Rabbi Shimon reveals that it is by means of the spirit of light that emanates from the nose of Eric Enpin that people will gain wisdom during the time of King Messiah he also says that anger comes mainly from the nose 55 the nose of Eric Enpin in this nose within the window of its nostril the spirit or wind of light blows on Zer Enpin inside this nose in the window of the nostril he comes out to support another lower hey this wind comes out from the concealed brain and is called the spirit of light by means of that spirit People will gain wisdom during the time of King Messiah as written and the spirit of Hashem shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding Yeshua 112 this nose is life from every aspect complete joy satisfaction and healing of the nose of Zer Enpin it is written there went up the smoke out of his nostrils to Shmuel 229 here it is written and for my praise will I refrain or nose for you Yeshua 489 56 in the Agata book of the Academy of Study of Rabbi Abbasaba he interpreted the hay as Malchut that receives from the mouth of Eric Enpin but here in this matter it does not work that way and Malchut does not connect with the mouth of Eric Enpin but with the left nostril of the nose and even though it has the same meaning many judgments derive from hay while judgment derives from the nose as written there went up the smoke out of his nostrils you may say it is written and fire out of his mouth to Shmuel 229 so there are judgments in the mouth as well too. Which
Upper and lower beings became successful, they all looked to receive bounty from that mazel. All life derives from that mazel. Everyone's food, heaven and earth, which are Zeir and Pen and Malchud, come from that mazel, and bountiful rains. Everyone looks to that mazel. The upper and lower hosts come out of that mazel. 59. There are 13 streams of valuable goodly oil, namely the 13 attributes of mercy derived from that beard, which is the precious mazel. They all come out to Zir and Pen. Do not say they all do as nine of them are present in Zir and Pen in order to subdue judgment. 60. This mazel goes down in equal measures to the middle. All the holiness of the holy of holies derived from this mazel through this mazel. The tangled supernal not became untied from the head above all heads, which is unknown, not conceived or known to upper and lower beings. For that reason, everything derives from this mazel. 61. In this beard, the three heads I mentioned expand and they all connect to. This mazel and rest in it for that reason all that is most precious derives from this mazel all the letters of the name Yud Hey Vav Hey that come out of Atika do so only from the beard and connect to this mazel and depend on it to support the other letters in Zeir and Pen and had not these letters gone up to Attic namely to its beard the others in Zeir and Pen would not have survived hence Moses said when it was needed Hashem Hashem Shema 346 twice the first coming from Eric and Pen and the second from Zeir and Pen with a punctuation mark between them everything depends on mazel and not on Eric and Pen itself the upper and lower being shy away from this mazel and are subdued before its section 20 how Shachma of 32 paths emanated Rabbi Shimon tells of the supernal origin of the 32 paths of wisdom he also explains what is included under the name Atika Kadisha and we learn that the highest head is completely outside of the Sfirot nor is it counted with them even as their Kedah is the place of the beginning 62 This most hidden Atika Kadisha is not mentioned in the Torah and is not present since being a supernal head for all the upper beings it is mentioned in the Torah only as a bodiless head that is and the hair of whose head was like the pure wool Daniel 79 The torso arms and legs are not mentioned like those of Zeir and been mentioned in Shir Hashirim The purpose is to support everything 63 The structures of the most hidden concealed and treasured Kedah of Eric and been settled in the most hidden brain which is concealed Chakma after it was wholly expanded and established supernal Chisa came out of Kedah of Eric and been. the supernal Chisa expanded and was established and everything was incorporated in the concealed brain which is Chakma of Eric and been. when this whiteness was instituted within that light someone that is the unknown head struck that brain which is concealed Chakma shown and produced from the precious mazel. Another brain which brain expanded and shines upon thirty-two paths which are Abba and Ima when this brain shines it does so from the precious mazel three lofty heads shown upon that brain two heads and one that incorporates them they are Chakma and Bina and the one that includes them is the brain of Dath these Chakma Bina and Dath derive from mazel and are included in it sixty-four from here the brain of thirty-two paths the preciousness of the beard which is the concealed mazel begins to be revealed. Because from it there is a flow on every grade and when they are established they are established throughout the grades just as three heads are crowned with Atika Kadisha so are all the grades three headed and when they shine all the grades derive each from the other with three heads which are two from both sides right and left and one that includes them in their middle these are the three columns right left and central present in every grade through which each grade flows into a lower one. 65 You may ask who Atika Kadisha is that is what is included under the name Atika Kadisha he answers come and see high up there is the unknown inconceivable and unmarked which is the unknown head it includes everything and the two lower heads the skull and the concealed brain to the right and left are included within it that is it unites them everything is then established that way that is in the matter of two heads to the right and left and one that incorporates and unites the one with it. Other it the unknown head that includes two heads is not counted with the Sfirot nor is it part of them not even as their Kedah it is not part of the reckoning not being of the aspect of Chakma called reckoning except through willingness hence it is said I said I will take heed to my ways that I said not with my tongue Tehillim 392 66 the place where the beginning lies is from the illumination of Atika Kadisha that illuminates from Mazel which is the illumination of Chakma that expands. Into 32 directions that is Chakma of the 32 paths which comes out from the concealed brain when it illuminates and as for Atika Kadisha shining in the beginning it is the brain of 32 paths that is the beginning for what is revealed which turns into three heads that is two heads Chakma and Bina and one head including them which is the brain of that and these three Chakma Bina and that expand to Zir and Pen and from them all grades illuminate as shall be explained. Section 21 The expansion of Chakma of 32 paths to the lower beings Rabbi Shimon goes on to explain how the two heads Chakma and Bina and the one incorporating them expand from the brain of 32 paths to Zir and Pen and then to the rest of the grade 67 he goes on to explain how the two heads Chakma and Bina and the one incorporating them which I had expand from the brain of 32 paths to Zeir and Pen and the rest of the grades he says that Chakma of 32 paths was engraved and Produced a river which is Bina which flows and comes out to water the garden that is Malchut it enters the head of Zir and becomes a brain of Chakma whence it flows and goes into the whole body of Zeir and waters all the plants this is the secret of and a river went out of Eden to water the garden Bershi 21068 this Chakma of 32 paths was also engraved flowed and entered the head of Zir and another brain of Bina was made later from that light two flows came out were engraved and joined the one head of the depth of the pit which is the brain of that as written by his knowledge the depths were broken up Mishlei 320 it entered the head of Zir and became another brain of that and from there it flowed and entered the whole body of Zeir and and filled all those chambers and halls this is the meaning of and by knowledge are the chambers filled Mishlei 244690 these Chakma Bina and that of Zeir and shine with the light of that. Supernal concealed brain that illuminates mazel and everything is interdependent and interconnected to the point that it is known that it is all one all is atik and nothing is separated from it these three lights Chakma Bina and Dad of Zeir and shine to three others called fathers Jesus Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and which shine on the children net Sachat and Yezid of Zeir and everything shines from the same place from the concealed brain which is atik and when atik the will of all wills is revealed and everything shines everything abides in perfect joy section 22 supernal Eden and lower Eden here we learn that Zir and is called you because it is from Zir and that there is a beginning of revelation but that atik Kadisha which is entirely concealed is called he 70 this Chakma of 32 paths is called Eden and this Eden flows from the most hidden supernal Eden which is the concealed brain from this Eden which is Chakma of 32. Perhaps it is considered a beginning of shining upon lower beings because in Atika namely in the concealed brain neither beginning is indicated nor ending since in Atika there is no beginning and no end it is not called you using the second present person because it is hidden and undisclosed and is therefore called he in the third hidden person from where there is a beginning namely Chakma of 32 paths it is called you and father as written you are our father Yeshaya 6361 in the Agata of Rabbi Abbasaba he says all in all Zir Anpin is called you because it is revealed Atika Kadisha which is concealed is called he this is correct we now call this place where the beginning lies which is the brain of 32 paths by the name you for though it is yet hidden nevertheless the beginning of revelation comes from it hence it is called you as well it is called father and is a father to the fathers Jesus Bura and Tiferet of Zeir Anpin and this father comes out of Atika. Kadisha is written but where is wisdom to be found or wisdom is found from Nahio 2812 namely from Atika Kadisha that is called not which is why it is unknown 72 come and see it is written Elohim understands its way of it 23 actually its way because Elohim which is Zeir Anpin knows the way Chakma of 32 paths expands to lower Chakma and the Atika Kadisha knows its place of it its very place namely the essence of supernal Chakma which is Abba and Ima and naturally Chakma concealed within Atika Kadisha which is its own brain section 23 why Chakma is considered to have 32 paths by saying that 32 paths expand from Chakma it means that the Torah that is Zir Anpin is included in the 22 letters and the 10 sayings Rabbi Shimon also says that this Chakma is a father to the fathers and that in it there are a beginning and an ending 73 this Chakma of 32 paths is the first beginning from it 32 
Righteous who will merit life in the world to come, he now says explicitly what he has only hinted at throughout his life, that the holy name includes everything it includes Chakma Banazir and Ben and Malchut. We also learn how Solomon interprets the two descriptions of the female, my love and my bride in Shir Hashirim, that are IMA and Malchut. Rabbi Shimon talks about the endless flow that emerges to the garden that is Malchut. In another context, he says that Binah is father, mother, and son. 74 Rabbi Shimon lifted up his hands and was glad. He said, Surely it is a time of revelation and there is a need for everything at such a time. We learned that when the most hidden Atika Kadisha wanted to prepare, he established everything as male and female, but where male and female were incorporated in every sphere, they survived only by another existence of male and female, this Chakma, which includes everything, namely Chakma of 32 paths when it emerged and shown from Atika Kadisha. Shown only as male and female as Chakma expanded and produced Bina from itself and so there are male and female Chakma is a father and Bina a mother Chakma and Bina are weighed with the same measure male and female that is they are both equal because of them everything endured by means of male and female for otherwise it would not have existed 75 this beginning namely Chakma of 32 paths which are Abba and Ima is a father to all father to all fathers who are Chakma Bura and Typhoret of Zeir and Ben and Chakma and Bina which are Abba and Ima united with each other and shining into each other when they joined they gave birth to Zeir and Ben and Malchut and faith which is Malchut called faith spread in the Agata of Rabia Basaba we learned it thus what is Bina when Yud and He joined each other namely Chakma and Bina Bina conceived gave birth and produced a son Zeir and Ben hence it is called Bina for giving birth to the son had Ben of Yud hey, as Bina is spelled. With Ben and the letters Yudhe, which is overall perfection for both Chakma and Bina join and the sons Zeir and Ben between them which comprises everything with their establishment there is overall perfection namely everything father and mother Chakma and Bina son and daughters Zeir and Ben and Malchud which are the four letters Yudhe Vabhe from which all reality springs 76 such things were not meant to be revealed except for lofty saints that entered into Chakma and came out from it in peace who know the ways of the Holy One blessed be he who never moved from them right or left as written for the ways of Hashem are right and the just do walk in them Hashia 1410 blessed is the portion of he who merited knowing his ways and who does not stray nor is misled by them for these matters are concealed and the lofty saints shine upon them as one shining with candle light these words were handed only to those who came into Chakma and came out for whoever has not come in and out. It is better for him had he not been born for it is known before the most hidden Atika Kadisha that these matters shine in my heart with the perfection of love and awe before the Holy One blessed be he and these my children in here I know about them that they entered Chakma and came out of it in peace and they shone on these matters though not on them all and now they shine fully as befitting blessed is my portion with them in that world 77 Rabbi Shimon said all I said of Atika Kadisha and all I said of Zer and Ben is all the same it is the same matter without division in it blessed is he and blessed is his name forever and ever 78 come and see this beginning that is called father is included within Yud that comes out and shines from Holy Mazel which is the beard Yud therefore includes other letters namely Bob since it is fully spelled Yud Bob Yud is the comprising of all other letters as every letter begins with a dot which is Yud is the beginning and Ending of everything is supernal chakma that is the beginning of everything is called Yud and so is lower chakma the ending of everything namely Malchut 79 that river that comes out and flows namely Bina that comes out of chakma is called the world to come because it runs always and never stops this is the Eden of the righteous who will merit life in that world to come that constantly waters the garden namely male and female and never stops it says of it like a spring of water whose waters fail not Yeshua 5811 that world to come is created with Yud that is by chakma that is called Yud this is the meaning of and a river went out of Eden that is Bina coming out of chakma that is called supernal Eden to water the garden Bereshit 210 namely to water male and female called Vavdalat since Yud fully spelled includes the two letters Vavdalat as shall be explained 80 in the book of Gita of Rabia Basaba we learned why Vavdalat are included within Yud. And he explains this planting of the garden which is Zeir and Ben is called Bob. There is another garden called Dalit from this Bob which is Zeir and Ben Dalit is watered which is Malchut. This is the secret of the words and a river went out of Eden to water the garden. Eden is supernal Chakma which is Yud to water the garden refers to Bob which is Zeir and Ben and from hence it was parted and branched into four streams. If it refers to Dalit namely Malchut all that is included in Yud 81. Because of that that everything is included in Yud which is Chakma Chakma is called the father to the fathers who are Shisit Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and Ben a beginning to everything a house to everything is written through wisdom a house is built Mishle 243 and in wisdom have you made them all Tehillim 10424 Chakma in its place is neither revealed nor known when it is united with Ima which is Bina it is alluded to in Ima and because of that Ima is made all inclusive in which the Beginning and ending of everything is made known and indicated, namely supernal chakma and lower chakma, which is malchut for everything is hidden within it. 82. What includes everything is the holy name up until now. I have made allusions but have not said it explicitly. All these days now the aspects are imprinted. Yud of Yudhe Bab Hay includes this chakma, namely chakma of 32 paths, which is Abba Hay's IMA and is called Bina Bab Hay are the two children Zeir and Ben and Malchut that are adorned by IMA. We have learned that Bina includes them all because Yud, which is chakma, is united with Hay, which is IMA, and they beget a son, which is Zeir and Ben. This is the meaning of the letters of Bina, father and mother, who are Yud Hay with the son have been between them because Bina is the letters of Ben Yudhe 83. We now have to examine it is Bina, but it is called Tabuna. Why is it called Tabuna rather than Bina? And he answers for IMA is called Tabuna when suckling the two. Children, a son and a daughter that are called Bavhe, namely Zeir and Ben and Malchut. At that time, it is called Tavuna, since everything is included within those letters Ben and son and Bat and daughter who are Bavhe. That is Tavuna is spelled with the letters of Ben and Bat Bavhe, and everything is one whole, namely Tavuna. 84 in his book, Rab Hamdan Asaba said that the first description King Solomon revealed when he said, Behold, you are fair, my love. Sure, Hashirim 115 comes from it. That is, it relates to Ima, whom Abba calls my love. The second description he mentioned, Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Sure, Hashirim 48 is considered a bride who is the lower Mukba, namely Malchut. As for those who say that both relate to the lower Mukba, Malchut, it is not so because the first Hay of Yudhe Bavhe is not considered a bride, but my love, because Abba and Ima are considered lovers, but last Hay is considered a bride at certain times because on many occasions the male Zeir and Ben. Does not unite with her but leaves her of that time it is written also you shall not approach to a woman in the impurity of her menstrual flow. Vayikra 1819 when the female is purified and the male wishes to unite with her she is considered a bride because she comes as a real bride. 85 but as for Ima the desire of both Abba and Ima never stops they emerge as one and rest as one the one does not stop flowing from the other nor leaves the other for that reason it is written and a river went. Out of Eden Bereshit 210 went out means constantly ceaselessly as written like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Yeshua 5811 hence it is written my love about Ima because they dwell with brotherly desire and love with absolute unity but here in Malchut she is considered a bride because when the male comes with Zeir and to join her she is a bride and comes as an actual bride. 86 for that reason Solomon interprets the two descriptions of the female Ima and Malchut. First description of Ima is vague because Ima is vague and hidden. The second description in Malchut gives more explanation and is not so vague. Later it applies all the value of Malchut to the upper one. Ima is written. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that for her. Sure Hashirim 69. And since Ima is bedecked with the bride's crown and the desire of Yud which is Chakma towards her never stops and she is attached to both the upper and lower beings. Therefore the freedom of all slaves is under her jurisdiction to purify everything as written for on that day will he forgive you. Vayikra 1630 and, and you shall hallow the 
Not why you hate us, the sum of all two children, Zeir and Pen and Malchut, is called Tavuna, while the whole of the father, mother, and son who are Chakma Bina and Zeir and Pen is considered Bina, which when wishing to include everything, why you hate as well, they are included in Bina section 25, that which is Zir and Pen that unites Chakma and Bina, that are Abba and I am a Rabbi Shimon, begins by saying that the father, mother, and son are called Chakma Bina and that, and he explains why this is so. He tells us that dad receives his father's and mother's inheritance, 88, these father, mother, and son are called Chakma Bina and that, for when the son Zeir and Pen receives his father's and mother's tokens, that is when he takes and includes within him Chakma and Bina of Abba and I am a, he is called dad, which is derived from testimony of EDUT, because he bears testimony about both of them by including within him the Mokin of Abba and I am a, as dad reconciles and Includes Chakma and Bina the son that is called the firstborn son as written Yisrael is my son my firstborn Shema 422 since Zeir and Pen who is dead I is called Yisrael and it says of him Yisrael is my son my firstborn since he is considered the firstborn he receives two portions a portion from Abba who is Chakma and a portion from Iami Bina when he gets bigger with his crowns he receives three portions Chakma Bina and that in either case two parts or three parts are all the same since Dad is no more than the inclusion of Chakma and Bina in such a way that even in Chakma Bina and that there are no more than two Chakma and Bina both are the same because Dad receives his father's and mother's inheritance and hence has only Chakma and Bina like his father and mother but no more section 26 inheritance and the two crowns in Chakma Bina and Dad of Zir and Pen Rabbi Shimon describes the nature of the inheritance that Zir and Pen receives from Abba and Iama we are led to understand that the son inherits everything and gives it to the daughter Malchud who is nourished from him 89 he asks what is this inheritance Zeir and Pen receives from Abba and Iama and answers it is his father and mother's inheritance which is their Chakma and Bina and the two crowns hidden therein which they bequeathed to that son namely the two parts of that that joins Abba and Iama since Zeir and Pen inherits all three parts Chakma Bina and that from Abba and Iama for from his father's side a crown called Chesed was hidden within that and from his mother's side a crown called Bura and all are crowned on the head of Zeir and Pen and he holds to them when Abba and Iama shine on him by means of the inheritance of Chakma and Bina and the two parts of that they are all called the head Tefil in the secret of the four paragraphs since the inheritance of Chakma and Bina are sanctified to me all the firstborn have Kadeshli Shema 132 and and it shall be when Hashem your Elohim shall bring you Hebi Hayaki Hebi Hashem Devarim 610 and the two parts of that are Hero Yisrael Hebi Hashem Yisrael Devarim 64 and, and it shall come to pass if you hearken Hebi Hayam Shemoe and the son takes and inherits everything and it spreads within him throughout the body the son's Eir and gives to the daughter Malchud who is fed from him in any case it is understood from this that the son inherits rather than the daughter the son inherits his father and mother not the daughter and the daughter is nourished by him as said about the tree that alludes to Zeir and, and on it was food for all Daniel 418 90 these father and mother are included and unite with each other and Abba is more hidden than IMA everything is attached to Atika Kadisha that is the concealed brain coming from the precious Mazel which is most precious since they do not receive straight from Atika Kadisha but through the beard called Mazel the Father and mother prepare the house as I said regarding the secret of through wisdom Chakma house is built and by understanding Tavuna it is established and by knowledge that are the chambers filled with all precious and pleasant riches Mishle 243 which are Chakma Bina and that of Zeir and Pen it is also written for it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you Mishle 2281 Rabbi Shimon said in the Idra Rabbah in Naso I have not disclosed everything and all these matters were hidden in my heart to this moment I wanted to conceal them for the world to come because there in the world to come we are asked a question about wisdom as written and he shall be the stability of your times a store of salvation wisdom and knowledge Yeshayah 336 since wisdom is asked of one he therefore concealed these matters to the world to come now I see that the Holy One blessed be he wishes it to reveal them in order that I shall come in without shame before his palaces. Section 27 Undisclosed that, that that is shining in the head expanding that Rabbi Shimon tells us about the three types of that in Zir and Pen and he also talks about how God established a testimony in Jacob Rabbi Shimon tells the other rabbis that he has known these matters for a long time but was afraid to reveal them and now they are revealed he laughs and weeps over what he is and is not allowed to reveal and he says that he has only this one day at his disposal to tell what he wants to tell and we find that he wants to reveal things so that he will not enter the world to come in shame 92 it is written for Hashem is an L of knowledge let knowledge is Ishmuel 23 surely knowledge is in plural because there are three types of that in Zeir and Pen 1 it is the brain of that because through that all palaces are filled as written and by knowledge had that are the chambers filled with all precious and pleasant riches Mishle 243 to another that corresponds to this which is not revealed but flows within it secretly and is included within it three that that shines into the parts of the brain and spreads throughout the brain but not into the body 93 in the book of Agato we studied Hashem is an L of knowledge had Doti do not pronounce Doti but it does testimony for it bears testimony about everything the testimony of two portions which means it includes within it Chakma and Bino which are two portions as written for he established a testimony in Jacob Tehillim 785 since Zeir and Pen called Jacob is the secret of that that incorporates Chakma and Bina and though it has been explained differently in Safar Detzi the concealed book that circumcision is called testimony it is not in the concealed book in our possession but they had Kabbalah books that they called so there where it belongs the explanation is complete and also here everything is correct everything should be explained in the text by concealing the matter by Hence 94 everything is included within these Abba and Ima and everything is hidden within them they are concealed and are included in the holy mazel namely the beard of the most ancient Eric and they are concealed within it incorporated in it everything is Atika and Atika is everything blessed be he and blessed be his name forever and ever 95 all the matters in the Idra Rabbah are correct and they are all our holy matters which strain either right nor left they are all hidden matters revealed to those who entered wisdom and came out of it completely all mysteries are in such a way that they are revealed solely to those who came in and came out until now these matters which I have disclosed here were hidden because I was afraid to reveal them now they are revealed it is known before Atika Kadisha that neither for my own glory nor for the glory of my father's house did I do this but I did it so I would not enter shamefully before his palace moreover I saw the holy one blessed be he and all the truly righteous present here all agreed with me that I should reveal them for I have seen them all rejoicing in my joy and that they are all invited to my feast in that world happy is my portion 96 Rabbi Abba said when the holy luminary completed this word the supernal luminary raised his hands wept and laughed because he wanted to reveal something he said all my life I was distressed about this matter to reveal IT but now I am not given permission he drew strength and sat down and his lips were muttering he prostrate three times and no one could look at where he was let alone directly at him he said mouth mouth you have merited all this and your streams have not dried you stream gushes forth ceaselessly we recite of you and a river went out of Eden Bear she 210 and like a spring of water whose waters fail not Yeshua 5811 97 now I testify about myself that all the days I lived in the world I yearned to see this day in which I would have permission to Reveal these secrets but never succeeded except for now because this day is crowned with this crown of revealing secrets and now I wish to reveal matters before the Holy One blessed be he because all the secrets I reveal are crowned on my head and this day will not be far from coming to its place in that world on another day for all this day is at my disposal and no more and now let me begin to reveal things so I should not enter with shame into the world to come here let me start speaking. Section 28 The union of male and female called righteousness and justice Rabbi Shimon tells how he sees that the illumination of all grades is joined in the one light and emanates ultimately from the hidden light within which dwells the endless light that which can never be comprehended nor revealed he talks about the perfect justice of God saying that his judgments are always judgments of truth we learn that there are two luminaries that
Tangle 8915 who is wise to observe this to see the ways of the holy supernal one that they are judgments of truth judgments adorned with supernal sphira for I see all luminaries shine from the most hidden supernal luminary which is Atik all grades are illuminated grades as each has its unique illumination and by the light within each and every grade something is revealed namely each has its own unique revelation and all lights are attached to each other and shine into each other not separating from each other 99 the light within each of the luminaries that are called the king's characteristics the king's fire each namely each light shines and is attached to the light in the innermost that is it is absolutely inconceivable for that reason all amounts to the same grade everything is adorned by the same thing and is inseparable from the other he and his name are one he the revealed light is called the king's garment the light in the innermost of all lights is hidden light within which dwells that which is neither explicable nor revealed the blessed endless light 100 all luminaries and all lights shine from the most concealed atika katisha that is the supernal luminary when observing within all lights spreading from atika there is only some of the hidden unrevealed supernal light 101 within these garments of glory garments of truth true establishments and true lights there are two luminaries which establish the king's throne which is by and which are called righteousness and justice there is eir and that is called justice and malchute called righteousness they are the beginning and the completion in the whole faith since justice is at the beginning and the revealing of perfection within righteousness is called justice and with these all judgments above and below are adorned everything is concealed in justice which is eir and, and righteousness which is malchute is nourished by this justice which is eir and, and sometimes Malchut is called Melchized, the king of Shalem, Bereshit 1418, 102, when judgments are roused from justice, they are all in a state of mercy and perfection, for this justice mitigates righteousness, which is judgments, judgments are established, and all descend into the world in perfection and mercy, it is then the time when male and female join, and all worlds are in a state of mercy and joy, 103, when people's iniquities multiply, and the temple Malchut is defiled by their iniquities, the male. Zeir Anpin departs from the female Malchut, and the fierce serpent begins to arouse woe to the world that is nourished at that time by righteousness, which is Malchut separated from Zeir Anpin, that is just as many legions of demons arouse in the world, and many righteous people depart from the world, all this is because the male has left the female, and justice does not approach this righteousness of this, it is written, but sometimes ruin comes for want of judgment, justice, Michelet, 1323, which means. That since justice which is Zeir and departs from righteousness and Malchut is not mitigated but righteousness is fed from another place namely left without the right which is severe judgments 104 King Solomon said of this all things have I seen in the days of my vanity there is a just man who perishes in his righteousness Kahil at 715 the reason is that justice has departed from righteousness and Malchut remains as left without right for that reason it is considered that sometimes ruin comes for want of justice 105 come and see when there is a lofty righteous man in the world loving the Holy One blessed be he even when righteousness is roused on its own without justice the world can still be saved for his sake for the Holy One blessed be he delights in his glory and he fears no judgment when this righteous man is not alive people are afraid even of justice and cannot handle it not to mention righteousness 106 at first King David said examine me Hashem and Prove me Tehillim 262 for I am not afraid of any judgment not even of righteousness moreover I am attached to it since David was a chariot to Malchut it is written as for me I will behold your face in righteousness Hetzedek Tehillim 1715 with righteousness assuredly I am not afraid to face its judgments after he sinned he was afraid even of justice as written and enter not into justice with your servant Tehillim 1432 come and see when this righteousness Hetzedek is mitigated by justice it is called righteousness Hetzedek with a feminine suffix because it becomes a female to Z-E-I-R and that is called justice and receives Chesedim from IT the world is sweetened with Chesed and filled with it as written he loves righteousness Hetzedek and judgment the earth is full of the goodness Chesed of Hashem Tehillim 335 107 I bear testimony about myself that I was distressed about the world all my life lest it would meet the judgments of righteousness and be burned by its Flames has written she eats and wipes her mouth Mishlei 3020 from now on after my demise the world will behave according to the deeds of everyone as is the pit so I ask its depth that is deeds are repaid measure for measure in this generation there are righteous people but they are too insignificant to rise up and protect the people of the generation from the four directions of the world section 29 Zer Anpin Rabbi Shimon reveals some things about Zer Anpin that were not revealed in the Idra Rabbah he first repeats what the rabbis already know about how Zer Anpin derives from Atika Kaddish and next he talks about the kings of Edom who died because everything had not yet been properly established in Malchut we learned that male and female cannot flourish without each other Malchut is the daughter of both Shachma and Bina and is fed from both aspects that radiate in two ways with Chesed and with judgments lastly Rabbi Shimon describes how the first worlds were Destroyed like sparks that are extinguished immediately 108 up until now my words were interconnected and the concealed matters in the most hidden Atika Kaddisha were explained and how the ones are connected to the others that is how the three heads of Atika are mutually attached how the beard is attached to Atika and how Abba and Ima are connected to the beard the following are matters that pertain to Zer Anpin that were not revealed in the Idra Rabbah those concealed in my heart where they did not manifest now they are manifested and disclosed all these matters are hidden yet clear blessed is my portion and that of those who receive this inheritance as written happy is the people that is in such a case Tehillim 14,415 109 this we have explained that Abba and Ima are attached to the manifestations of Atika that is to the beard that manifested it is so because they derive from the most concealed brain and are attached to it when they examine what I say they will see that Everything is only Atika that was is and will be and that all those manifestations are in it Abba and I may come out of this concealed brain and are a part of Mazel they derive from and are attached to it Zer Anpin derives from Atika Kadisha and is attached to it we have already explained these issues in the Idra Rabba blessed is the portion of he who came into wisdom and came out in peace and who knows the paths not to deviate right or left but be in the central column and whoever has not come in and out in peace it is better for him had he not been born as it is also written for the ways of Hashem are right Hashia 1410 110 Rabbi Shimon said all my life I observed this verse that says my soul shall glory in Hashem the humble shall hear of it and be glad Tehillim 343 and now the whole verse is fulfilled surely my soul shall glory in Hashem because my soul is attached to him blows from him cleaves to him and strives through which striving it shall rise to its place the humble shall hear of it and be glad relates to all the righteous the members of the holy yeshiva and the righteous who have come now with the sheshana they all listen to my words and rejoice for that reason O oh, magnify hashem with me and let us exalt his name together before 111 he opened with and these are the kings that reigned in the land of edom bereshi 3631 this is the meaning of four low great kings were assembled they came or passed on together tehillim 485 where were they assembled in the land of edom which judgments hold on to they passed on together as written and he drained in his place bereshi 3633 to 39 as soon as they saw they were astounded they were frightened they rushed away tehillim 486 because they were not settled but broken died because the king's establishments had not yet set and the holy city namely malchut and its walls had not yet come to be 112 this is the meaning of as we have heard so have we seen a bit nine because none survived but she Malchut survives now that the male dwelt with her as written and had her reigned in his place and the name of his city was Pau and his wife's name was Meditabal daughter of Matri daughter of Mazah have Bershi 3639 gold water certainly as we explained in the Idra 113 in the Agata book of Rabham Nanasaba we learned that had her reigned in his place and her surely namely Yezid that is called the tree hitter as written the fruit of the tree hitter Vayakra 2340 in which Malchut is called fruit and Yezid the tree hitter and his wife's name was Meditabal as in branches of palm trees of it which is Yezid and which is named in the plural palm trees because it is written the righteous man flourishes like the palm tree Tehillim 9213 which means he does not flourish without the female because the palm tree is both male and female hence it says of him and his wife's name was Meditabal this Malchut is called the daughter of Matri which means she is a daughter to that place
Aspects that radiate in two manners with Chisit and with judgments that is from right and left the right being Chisit and called water and left the secret of Shakma called gold hence the gold water 114 before the world was created they did not face and look at each other face to face and because of that the earlier worlds were destroyed by being broken and dying the first worlds were formed but not fixed and that king that was not established was called glowing sparks that is his kingdom. And rain were like the light of a spark that is immediately extinguished and disappears it is like a craftsman who strikes on an iron tool with a hammer and produces sparks in every direction these sparks come out glowing and shining but are extinguished at once these are called the first worlds for this reason they were destroyed and did not survive until Atika Kadisha manifested and the craftsman began his work section 30 Hauser and Pen emanated from Abba and Ima. Rabbi Shimon recalls what the Baritha says about the destruction of the first worlds and about how Atika Kadish's craftsmanship later established everything as male and female and when Abba and Ima joined and were incorporated within each other the head of Zer and Pen emerged and expanded 115 in regard to this we learned in our Baritha that the luminary scattered sparks and glitters to 320 sides and that these sparks are called the first worlds which died immediately afterwards the Craftsman Atika Kadisha went to do his craftsmanship which was set as male and female and the sparks that were extinguished and died became in existence now for from the harsh candle a spark came out which is the strong hammer that struck and produced sparks that were extinguished in the first worlds it is mingled with pure air and they were sweetened by each other 116 he now explains the emergence of Zeir and Pen from Abba and Ima saying when Abba united with Ima namely male with female the pure air the secret of Chesedim coming from the spirit hidden within Atikim was concealed within Abba and included the spark coming from the hard candle hidden within the belly of Ima that is the judgments of Chakma of the left of Ima when the two joined and were incorporated within each other Chakma of Ima within the Chesedim of Abba and vice versa a hard strong skull the head of Zeir and Pen emerged and expanded to the sides one to one side and one to the other just like there are three Heads together in Atika Kadisha, the unknown head Keter and concealed Chakma, everything comes about through three heads. As I said, section 31, the skull of Zir Enpin, we read how do drips from the skull of Eric Enpin to the skull of Zir Enpin, and from there to Malchut, where it sustains everything from this two mana is ground for the righteous in the world to come, and through it the dead will be revived. Rabbi Shimon talks about how this two drip when Yisrael were wandering in the wilderness, as this event never happened at any other time in the world. We learn that children, length of life and sustenance depend not on merit, but instead on Mazel. Lastly, we hear that there is healing in the world only when Zir Enpin and Atika Kadisha face each other, then everything is long suffering. 117 in the skull of Zir Enpin, do drips from the white head, which is the skull of Eric Enpin, which appears in two colors, for though it is Chesedim that are considered. White nevertheless some redness appears in it which indicates the inclusion of Chakma which is what is meant by the color of Delium Bimidbar 117 from Zeranth in the field of holy apple trees which is Malchut is sustained from the dew and the skull mana is ground for the righteous for the world to come and through it the dead shall be revived this dew never dripped except when Yisrael wandered in the wilderness sustained by the most ancient from that place the dew above the skull and this never happened afterwards this is the meaning of behold I will rain bread from heaven for you Shemot 164 as in therefore Elohim give you of the dew of heaven Bershi 2728 for some of the dew of the skull of Eric Enpin drips on the skull of Zeir Enpin called heaven this was at that time when they were fed by the dew of heaven other times we learned that man's sustenance is hard for the holy one blessed be he because at that time sustenance came from Mazel Mazel certainly where there are Judgments and not from the dew of the skull of Eric Enpin which is holy of mercy hence children length of life and sustenance do not depend on merit but on Mazel everything derives from that Mazel as we explained that it is the beard of Eric Enpin 118 90 million worlds journey and are supported by the skull the pure of Abba is included within all grades of Zeir Enpin both to the right and to the left which is why the face of Zeir Enpin has expanded to two sides right and left by two lights from Shesedim and Chakma that include everything when the face of Zeir Enpin looks to the face of Atika Kadish everything both the face of Eric Enpin and the face of Zeir Enpin is called long suffering we learned that it is long suffering because he is long suffering to the wicked but long suffering means healing come from the face since long Hebarok means healing derived from for I will restore health Hebarcha to you your Maya 3017 for there is healing in the world only when Zeir Enpin and Atika Kadisha face each other section 32 Chakma Bina and Dad of Zer Enpin Rabbi Shimon tells us about the three lights that shine within the cavity of the skull and about how these lights spread throughout the body we learn about the perfection of Jacob who drew Chakma and bestowed it on Rachel and on Malchut the Zohar says that Atika Kadisha is completely at one with the light of Shesedim alone and the illumination of Chakma has no power over it and thus there is joy in it for everyone and life for everyone and no judgments extend from it 119 three lights shine within the cavity of the skull namely Chakma Bina and Dad you may argue you speak of three yet there are four as I mentioned which are the inheritance of his father and mother namely Chakma and Bina the aspect of Abba and Ima he inherited and the two parts of Dad hidden within them they serve as crowns on the head of Zeir Enpin as the head Tephilin and he Answers at first there were four lights which later joined at his sides that is the two parts of that are joined in him into one to reconcile Chakma and Bana and unite them with each other so they become three lights they shine and enter the three cavities in the skull and come out each from its own side one from the right one from the left and another from the middle and spread throughout the body 120 these four lights join the two brain lobes Chakma and Bana and the third brain lobe that includes the two lobes and which is attached to this and that side namely to the right which is Chakma and the left which is Bana and spreads throughout the body and two colors are formed in him blended into one namely the right within it which is Chesedim and the left within it which is Chakma are incorporated in it together this causes his face to shine and the colors of his countenance testify about Abba and Ima that is they shine with the color of Abba which is Chesedim and the Color of Ima which is Chakma and he is called Dad of which it is written for Hashem is an L of knowledge lit knowledge is Ishmuel 23 that is in the plural because he has two colors Chakma and Chesedim hence it is written with the merciful you will show yourself merciful to Shmuel 2226 by shining Chesedim on him and with the upright man Hebjiber you will show yourself upright of it by shining Burat on him that is with the illumination of Chakma which is perfect as upright. Means perfect 121 the friends explained it in truth as written and Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother Bershi 2912 in relation to told it has been explained that everything is the secret of wisdom which means that the drawing of Chakma is considered telling and that he was Rivka's son of it it is written Rivka's son instead of Isaac's son as an illusion and everything is an illusion of wisdom 122 for this Jacob is considered perfect in every respect and Faith is evident in him that is he bestowed Chakma on Malchut called both Rachel and Faith the bestowing of Chakma is considered telling hence it is written and Jacob told Rachel which indicates the bestowing of Chakma instead of said 123 just as these colors of right and left in that shine in the adornment of the head and enter the cavities of the skull so they spread throughout the body and the body is attached to them but for concealed Atika Kadisha actions are not with Ishmuel 23 since there is no Chakma in IT and they are not suitable for it because this Atika Kadisha is completely at one with the light of Chesedim alone and the illumination of Chakma has no power over it and hence there is joy in IT for all life for all and no judgments extend from it but as for him Zeir and by him actions are weighed but surely hence this verse is written one way and pronounced another it is written by him Hedlolem and Vav and pronounced not Hedlolem Aleph 1 applying to Atika and 1 to Zeir Enpin section 33 hairs tresses and bristles on the head of Zer Enpin Rabbi Shimon tells us about the locks of hair that hang from the head of Zer Enpin and how they are intertwined with the supernal life from Abba and Ima we hear about the lobes of the brain and how they encompass the laws and mysteries the hidden and the disclosed we also learn what should be done by a person who wants God to hear him 124 from the skull of the head which is Keter tens of thousands of locks of hairs are han
Negative precepts included in adverse which are arranged as they shine in the head part that is in the forebrain lobes in the skull and their illumination enters the three cavities of the skull inside the head 126. All the locks of black hair hang on and cover the ears which is why we learn that it is written Hashem bend your ear and hear 2 Melashim 1916 from this we derive that whoever wishes the king to bend his ear to him should curl the hairs on the king's head that is. Concentrate on mitigating the judgments hanging from the hairs on the head of Zeir and he should also move the hair away from his ear so they would not obstruct the hearing of prayer and the king will hear whatever he needs to section 34. The path that divides the hairs of Zer and we are told that whalers and moaners emerge from the rough hairs on the head of Zer and and that they spread a trap for the wicked who are not familiar with the paths of it. Precepts of the Torah 127 where the hairs of Zeir and divide away joins the path of the ancient of days Atticum and where the hairs divide that is it receives bounty from IT and all the paths of the precepts of the Torah apart from it all the whalers and moaners come out from every rough hair in the hair and spread a trap for the wicked who are not familiar with these paths this is the meaning of the way of the wicked is like darkness Mishlei 419 from the rough hairs those who are. Weighing come out as written all the paths of Hashem are mercy and truth. Tehillim 2510 It is all this way because they emerge from the concealed brain lobes of the left called the strong lights of the brain. Section 35 The hair, tips in each of Chakmabana and Dad Rabbi Shimon clarifies the previous section and we learn that the wicked do not know that they are stumbling on harsh judgment. 128 He now explains matters more fully for that reason each of the hair tips has its individual way but from one brain lobe the middle one which is weighing ones emerge from the smooth rough hair in it of whom it is written all the paths of Hashem are mercy and truth. Tehillim 2510 129 From the second brain lobe the left one which is by the said whalers and moaners come out from the rough hard hairs of which it is written the way of the wicked is like darkness they know not at what they stumble. Mishle 419 What does this mean and he answers. They know not namely they do not know nor wish to know at what they stumble do not pronounce it at what headbeam they stumble but rather on IMA headbeam IMA they stumble that is on those attached to the second brain lobe which is by of the aspect of IMA the aspect of IMA is harsh bureau at the left from her are included the whalers and moaners 130 from the third brain lobe from the rough hairs in the middle prosecutors come out and emerge they are called shining countenances that are yet not shining of these it is written make even the path of your foot Mishlei 426 everything is in the rough hairs of the head section 36 the forehead of Zerenpin we are told that whenever it is exposed the forehead of Zerenpin takes revenge on the wicked for their deeds however when the forehead of Atika is revealed within the forehead of Zerenpin it is a time of goodwill for everyone this happens during the Minja service on Shabbat Rabbi Shimon explains. What people are not punished by a celestial court until they are at least 20 years old 131 the forehead on the skull is a forehead that takes revenge on the wicked for their deeds when this forehead is exposed prosecutors are roused against those who are not ashamed of their actions this forehead is as red as a rose when the forehead of Atika is revealed within this forehead it again becomes white as snow that time is considered a time of goodwill for everyone 132 in the Agata book. Of Rabbi Abbasaba he spoke of the forehead head Metzach Mem Zedek Chet if people merit the forehead it is the forehead of Atik that is the forehead of goodwill if they do not have merit Chet is placed between the two letters Mem and Zedek which forms the word Makats as in and shall smite head Makats the corners of Moab Bimid Bar 2417 which means that the wicked get their punishment from IT 133 we explained that the forehead head Metzach is called Netzach using executive letters changing. The letter MEM with the following in alphabetical order none which indicates that the light of supernal Netzach shines on the forehead and even though Netzach rises to another place this does not pose any difficulties because other kinds of Netzach spread throughout the body the reason the forehead is called Netzach is that it vanquishes head not say ch all judgments because on Shabbat during the Minchah service Atika Kaddish exposes its forehead so as not to arouse judgments and all judgments are subdued and quieted and do not manifest 134 24 courthouses derived from the forehead for all those who are impudent in their actions as in and they say how does El know and is their knowledge in the most high Tehillim 7311 he asks yet there are 20 courthouses why add four to them and answers that four correspond to the four capital punishments allotted by the terrestrial courthouse that derive from up high so only 20 courthouses remain for that reason one is not punished by a Celestial court until he completes his twentieth year, which corresponds to the twenty courthouses in our concealed bureau. We learn that they correspond to the four books in the Bible, section thirty-seven. The eyes of Zer Enpin. Rabbi Shimon says that although the wicked think that the eyes of God are sleeping, they are not. We hear about the eyebrows and the eyelashes and eyelids of the eyes of Zer Enpin, and we are told that when his eyes open, they turn and see the open eye of Eric Enpin, and they bathe in its whiteness. At this time, all the prosecutors of Israel surrender. We learn about the four colors in the eyes of Zer Enpin, and we are told that the eyes supervise everyone in order to judge that they generate mercy and goodness, and that they reveal man's actions as they are good or bad. Rabbi Shimon talks again about the separation of Zer Enpin and Malchut one hundred and thirty-five. The eyes in the head of Zeir Enpin are eyes from which the wicked are not guarded. They are. Eyes that sleep yet that do not sleep that is they sometimes sleep and sometimes do not for that reason they are called his eyes are like doves sure hasherim 512 what is meant by doves it is as in you shall not therefore defraud have told one another vi cross 2517 derived from fraud for it seems to the wicked that they are asleep that is not supervising the world hence it is written yet they say hashem shall not see nor shall the elohim of jacob regarded it. tehillim 947 and he that planted the ear shall he not hear of it 936 the characteristic above the eyes the hairs growing at the end of the forehead above the eyes in full measure from these hairs 1007 supervisors are ready to wage war and then they stop from falling that is stop their falling over the eyes to cover them because the hairs rise above the eyes and the eyes open 137 eyelashes are attached to the eyelids and both are considered eyelids or eye covers 14 million protectors hold onto them who are called Eye covers and all these are considered the eyes of Hashem they never open or waken except when the lower eyelids over the eyes separate from the upper lids that is the lower part is separated from the upper part and when the lower lids separate from the upper and make room for supervision the eyes open and seem as one awakened from his sleep the eyes turn and see the open eye of Eric Enpin and bathe in its whiteness when they wash in white all the prosecutors of Israel surrender hence it is written awake why sleep you Adonai arise tail 4424 138 four colors can be seen in these eyes of Zeir Enpin white red green and black from them shine the four compartments of the Tefillin that illuminate the cavities of the brain there are seven that are called the eyes of Hashem the seven Sfirat Chesed Bureau Tiferet Netzach Hot Yezid and Malchut in the eye white is Chesed red is Bureau green is Tiferet that includes Netzach Hot and Yezid and black is Malchut eyesight comes from it. Blackness in the eye which is Malchut as we explained in the Idra as written upon one stone are seven facets lit eyes Zechariah 39 which are the colors that glow from their aspects 139 from the red color in the eyes come out seven other eyes which supervise to do judgment because the red color is the left column that is judgment they are called the eyes of Hashem run to and fro throughout the whole earth to Rahim and 169 run eyes written as feminine instead of masculine which eyes because they are all judgment from the green color in the eye come out seven other eyes the purpose of which is to reveal man's actions both good or bad as written for his eyes are upon the ways of Manio 3421 these are called the eyes of Hashem they rove to and fro Zechariah 410 rove with the masculine suffix instead of the feminine because they face both sides the good as well as the bad because the green color is the central column that includes right and left which are Chesed. And judgment hence it is in the masculine since Jesus shines with the male light from the white color in the eye come out all the mercy and all the goodness that is present in the world to do good to Israel for then the three colors red green and black bathe in the white color which is mercy in order to have mercy upon them 140 these four colors blend with each other and merge with each other and each
which is Malchut needs to have the eyes of Hashem, the secret of Chakma in it, since the revelation of Chakma is in Malchut called Lower Chakma is written righteousness lost in it. Yeshua 121 righteousness being the secret of the judgments that emerge from the illumination of Chakma of the left that shines in Malchut, hence it speaks of Jerusalem rather than Zion, which is the inner part of Malchut, the secret of the illumination of Chesedim is written Zion shall be redeemed with. Justice of 27 since all is mercy is righteousness is judgment of the left and applies to Jerusalem while justice is mercy of Zeir and applies to Zion 143 your eyes shall see Jerusalem is spelled your eye in singular which indicates the eye of the most concealed Atika Kadisha whose two eyes become one again being white within white which will happen in the future but for now it is written the eyes of Hashem your Elohim are always upon it that is two eyes which are for good. And for evil as it should be for that reason they do not exist always but in the future will again be one eye since there your eye shall see Jerusalem namely one eye which is all for good all merciful that is the eye of Atika is written but with great mercies will I gather you Yeshua 547 144 the eyes of Hashem your Elohim are always upon it from the beginning of Rashid of the year Rashid is defectively spelled without Aleph instead of with it what is that which is called. Rashid without Aleph it is lower hey namely Malchut since Rashid is named after Rash and for before that it is written and cast down from heaven to earth the beauty of Israel Egypt 21 what is the reason he cast down from heaven earth that is why was Malchut called earth cast down from Zeir and been called heaven and he answers it is because it is written I clothe the heavens with blackness Yeshua 503 which means the eyes are in blackness that is they are covered with blackness. Since then Malchut is separated from Zeir and has nothing to receive from him 145 from the beginning of the year namely once do the eyes of Hashem behold Jerusalem again he explains from the beginning of the year which is by the called beginning spelled without Aleph because it is of judgment since judgment is connected to its side that is its left side to the end of the year Devarim 1112 surely the end of the year is there as it is written righteousness lost in it which is the end of the year namely Malchut 146 come and see Aleph on its own is called first which is masculine because that which is unknown is concealed and treasured in Aleph when this Aleph is connected somewhere else the place is called beginning you may argue it is connected to it but it is not so it is revealed in and shines on it and then it is called beginning even in that beginning it does not observe Jerusalem since had it received from this beginning it would have shown forever and its union would have been unbroken but beginning is spelled without Aleph and hence its union is interrupted of the world to come it is written the harbinger live first for Zion will I give behold behold them Yeshua 4127 where Aleph which is called first will shine on Zion which is Malchut section 38 the nose of Zir and ben Rabbi Shimon tells us the difference between the nose of Atika Kadisha and the nose of Zir and ben. we learn that the nose of Zir and ben is of anger and judgment, yet that the judgment is mitigated by the sweet savor of the burnt offerings given by the children of Israel. The nose of Atika Kadisha is long suffering and it holds back the judgments of the short nose of Zir and 147. The nose of Zir and characterizes the face since the whole face is recognized by it. This nose is unlike the nose of the most concealed Atika Kadisha since the nose of Atika is the life of life, for from the two nostrils of the nose come out spirits of life for everyone of Zir and It is written there went up the smoke out of his nostrils to Shmuel 229 148. All aspects hold onto the smoke in the nose and in each class many harsh prosecutors hold onto that smoke. They are all sweetened only by the smoke on the altar below. Hence it is written and Hashem smelled the sweet savor. Beersheet 821. The sweet savor is the mitigation of the prosecutors, namely satisfaction 148b and Hashem smelled the sweet savor. It does not speak of. The smell of the sacrifice but of the savory smell because all the Gvirat are connected to the nose and all judgments that are connected to the nose are mitigated and many Gvirat are joined together as written who can utter the mighty acts have Gvirat of Hashem who can declare all his praise. Tehillim 1062 from one nostril of his nose had Shodom comes out fire that consumes all other fires and from the other nostril comes out smoke both are mitigated by the fire and smoke of the altar Atika. Kadisha is uncovered with its chesedim and all judgments are quieted this is the meaning of and for my praise will I refrain have Eshetam for you Yeshayah 489 which refers to the nose of Atika 149 the nose of Atika Kadisha is long and expansive and is called long suffering lit long nose this nose of Zeir and is short when smoke starts emerging in haste judgment is carried out the nose of Atika detains it namely its chesedim all is as I said at the Idra Rabba where the friends have commented on it 150 in his book Rav Hamanasava explained about the two nostrils in the nose that from one there is smoke and fire and from another satisfaction and good spirit because it has in it right and left from the left there is smoke and fire and from the right satisfaction and goodness of spirit which is chesedim including chakma it is also written and its fragrance like the Lebanon Hashia 147 of the Nukba it is written the scent of your countenance lit nose like apples. Sure Hashirim 79 which indicates the illumination of chakma called smell if this is true for the Nukba it is all the more so for Zeir Anpin which sustains the Nukba and he has spoken well 151 as for the words and Hashim smell the sweet savor have Nishawash the sweet savor indicates double satisfaction have Nakat on both sides right and left the one on the right is satisfaction revealed from the most concealed Atika Kadisha which brings pleasure and sweetening for everything both two. Chakma and Chesedim the one on the left is sweetening coming from below with the smoke and fire on the altar since it is sweetened on both sides from Atika and from below therefore it is written Nishawash which indicates double satisfaction all this applies to Zir Anpin section 39 years of Zir Anpin we are told about the two ears that hear good and bad and about the winged messengers who hear the prayers people say out loud and who carry those prayers up to. The ears of God Rabbi Shimon says it is important that the sound be tasted for its quality and that this be done slowly he tells us that whatever happens too quickly does not possess complete wisdom we hear about the cavities of the ears eyes mouth and nose and about how the sound affects them according to the sound the eyes might cry and the mouth might speak words the whole body might tremble therefore people must guard carefully what they say out loud Rabbi Shimon goes on to say that. Supreme secrets originate from the ear of Zir Anpin and that those secrets are only revealed to those who walk the straight path wicked people are those who reveal secrets and the righteous are those faithful spirits who conceal the secrets 152 there are two ears to hear good and bad and both are considered one as written Hashem bend your ear and hear two Melashim 1916 the innermost ear is formed of curved apertures so that the sound will be slowed down in entering the brain the brain will be able to perceive it and it will not enter quickly for whatever happens quickly does not possess complete wisdom 153 from the ears originate all the winged creatures who receive the sound from the world they are all called the ears of Hashem as it is written of them for a bird of the sky shall carry the sound Kahilat 1020 he asks this verse is difficult for what sound is there here at the beginning of the verse writes do not curse the king no not even in your thought of it if it Says in your thought even in your bedchamber then why the reasoning for a bird of the sky shall carry the sound if there is no sound here but thought 154 and he answers surely man does nothing with whatever he thinks or meditates on until he utters it with his lips even if he does not mean to the word he utters cleaves through the air rises and flies in the world and turns into a sound the winged ones take that sound they raise it to the king and it enters his ears this is the meaning. Of and Hashem heard the voice of your words Devarim 525 and Hashem heard it and his anger was kindled Demidbar 111 155 therefore whatever the prayer or entreaty a man asks before the Holy One blessed be he he should utter the words with his lips for if he does not utter them with his lips his prayer is no prayer nor is his petition a real petition once the words are uttered and cleave the air they rise and fly and become a sound that is taken by someone who joins them in a holy place. In the king's head 156 from the three cavities of the brain shock mabana and add a trickle drips to the ears this trickle is called the stream of kirit as in wadi kirit i melashim 173 that is the cutting off half kirit of the ears the sound enters that place within the ear to be absorbed in river of that trickle where it is held and tested to see whether it is good or bad this is the meaning of for the ear tries words eo 343
From Edir blessed is he who guards what he says, hence it is written, Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking. Gile Talim 3414 158 hearing applies to this ear, namely Bana called hearing, and within the hearing are incorporated the brain lobes Chakma Bana and that since Chakma is revealed only through Bana Chakma is included in it as written, Give therefore your servant an understanding, let hearing heart I may lash him 39 heart head left equals 32 being the secret of the 32 paths of wisdom by I as included within IT as written, speak for your servant is listening. I shmuel 310 also we are listening, which means we understand that I as included within IT as written, hear O my son and receive my sayings, Michelet 410 and treasure up my commandments with you, Michelet 21, in which your means know thus everything derives from the ear, the reception of prayers and petitions depends on this ear as well as the opening of eyes. This is the meaning of Hashem bent your ear and ear open Hashem your eyes and see to Melashim 1916. Thus everything originates from the ear 159 supreme secrets, namely Chakma that do not go outside originate from that ear, which is why it is curved on the inside. The most secret among the secrets are hidden within it. Woe to him who reveals secrets, and when the ear gathers to itself the secrets and the inside curve receives them, it does not reveal secrets to those who follow crooked paths, but to those that walk the straight path. That is not crooked, this is the meaning of the counsel of Hashem is with them that fear him and he will reveal to them his covenant. Talim 2514 for they accept his way and hence accept his words. 160. Those whose path is crooked take matters and usher them in quickly so they have no place to be detained. All the other cavities of the eyes and nose open through it so the words come out through the mouth cavity. These are the wicked of the generation hated by the Holy One. Blessed be he and are. Be right, we learned that whoever reveals secrets is as if he killed people and as if he worshipped idols. Everything is derived from the same verse which says, You shall not go up and down as a talebearer among your people, neither shall you stand aside when mischief befalls your neighbor, which is murder. I am Hashem Vayakra 1916 which prohibits idolatry. Whoever transgresses the first part of the verse by bearing tales and revealing secrets, it is as if he transgressed them all murder and idolatry. 161 blessed is the portion of the righteous of whom it is written but he that is of a faithful spirit conceals the matter Michelet 1113 surely they are of a faithful spirit because their spirit is drawn from a supernal holy place that is from the central column hence they are considered to be of a faithful spirit we have explained the sign whoever reveals secrets it is known that his soul is not from the body of the holy king Zeir and that is the central column hence there is no secret in him nor is he from the area of secrets when his soul leaves his body it does not cleave to the body of the king which is not its place woe to that man woe to his soul blessed is the portion of the righteous who conceal secrets and more so supernal secrets of the holy one blessed be he of them it is written your people also shall be all righteous will inherit the land Yeshua 6021 section 40 the shining countenance of Zir and we hear about the two colors of it Face of Zir and red and white when sins multiply on earth the face illuminates in red and judgments prevail when people are righteous then the white shines from Atika Kaddish and everything is illuminated with mercy we hear that all the angels assume the colors that this face assumes 162 the two apples of the face of Zeir and are like two spice offerings which emit good fragrance the secret of the illumination of Chakma from below upwards called fragrance and the secret meaning of a man's wisdom makes his face to shine Kahilat 81 it is evidence of what I said about Abba and IMA for the whole testimony of reading the face depends on it on the face yet evidence depends on the whole facial expression that is on the forehead and the nose as has been said that one testifies he saw a person's face only with the nose but the two spice offerings which are white and red testify about Abba and IMA they testify about the inheritance he received from Abba and IMA and about his holding. Unto them in our b we explain the many differences between white and red yet nevertheless they are included in Zeir and together on the white side that is under the power of white which is Chesed 163 when the face of Zeir and shines in white that is with Chesed from Atika the white in it which is Chesed covers the red in it the secret of Chakma of the left and everything is illuminated then it is written Hashem make his face shine upon you Emidbar 625 when wicked people multiply and judgments are suspended over the world there is shutting off everywhere that is all lights are shut and do not shine and the red expands throughout the face which is judgment and covers the white which is mercy and then everything is in a state of judgment then it is written the face of Hashem is against those who do evil Tehillim 3417 everything depends on it and hence the face indicates everything 164 there are many angels with shields waiting for those facial colors white and red expecting those colors when the colors shine all the worlds are joyful when the white shines everything assumes this color that is Jesus and when the red appears everything assumes that color that is judgment section 41 the nine characteristics of the beard of Zir Anpin Rabbi Shimon reveals that the valuable oil of the 13 streams of the beard of Atika Kaddish illuminates the beard of Zir Anpin he says that the beginning of the beard is supernal Jesus and that when the world is in need of mercy the holy mazel appears from Eric Anpin then all the characteristics of the beard of Zir Anpin are in a state of mercy yet when the world is in need of judgment judgment appears and God takes vengeance on the enemies of Israel we hear that Moses spoke of the nine characteristics in order to revert them all to mercy 165 with these spice offerings that is the two apples of the face the beard starts to appear at the beginning of the ears Falling and rising with the spice offering, namely in the face, the hair of the beard is black, which is a nice and handsome characteristic, like a courageous and strong, handsome man. The valuable oil of the supernal beard of Atika appears and shines in the beard of Zir Anpin. 166. The beauty of this beard lies in nine characteristics. When the valuable oil of the 13 streams of the beard of Atika Kaddish illuminates this beard of Zeir Anpin, there are together 22 characteristics, and they are all blessed above and below Yisrael Saba, which is Zeir Anpin, is blessed by it, and it derives from Bayu Hadbisha equals 22. Shall Yisrael bless Bershi 4820? That is Zeir Anpin, that is called Yisrael blessed with the 22 characteristics. We explained all these characteristics in the Holy Idra that they were all formed from the characteristics of Atika Kaddish, and here I wish to reveal what has not been revealed there in order to enter without shame the world to come. 167. There are six. Characteristics that are considered nine. The first characteristic is that the hard candle emerged and struck under the hairs of the head underneath the locks over the ears going down starting in front of the opening of the ears to the top of the mouth. This characteristic does not originate from Atika Kaddish except when Mazel of Atika Kaddish flows from which comes the fount of Chakma when IMA flows and is included in the pure air. IMA receives the whiteness and the spark that is the heart. Candle enters the pure air and becomes a part of her then it emerges and they unite with each other that is it strikes the locks of hairs over the ears. The two judgments join each other and become one characteristic. 168 when the need arises to bestow Chesed or judgments the one rises over the other which is covered by it that is when the time comes to bestow judgments Chesed in the beard is covered and judgment has sway when the need arises to bestow Chesed judgment in the beard is covered. And Chesed rules and all is needed both the force of Chesed and the force of judgment one to take revenge on the enemies of Israel and one to have mercy on Israel for that reason David coveted this beard as we explained 169 there are nine characteristics to this beard which are 60,000 hairs that come down from them and expand in their illumination throughout the body these six characteristics that come down do so from the hairs beneath the spice offering that is beneath the part of it. Face called spice offering three characteristics on the one side of the face and three characteristics on the other side of the face from the preciousness of the beard that is the most visible part of the beard that beautifies the face come out three others one above the hairs over the lips and two in the hair that hangs down to the navel all the six three on one side and three on the other come down and hang with the hanging hairs and expand throughout the body 170 since the three. Constitute the beauty of the beard more than the rest because they decorate and beautify the face. The holy name is written regarding them as written out of my distress. I called upon Yah. Yah answered me with liberation. Hashem is on my side. Talim 1185 to 6 in the Idra Rabba. We explained that out of my distress I called upon Yah, which is the first characteristic, refers to the place where the beard starts to expand, where the place is narrow, that is where the expanse of hair
Judgment, judgment appears and then vengeance is wreaked on the enemies of Yisrael. Those who distress Yisrael, all the preciousness of the beard lies in those hanging hairs that is the visible expanses of the beard because everything emerges from them. 173. All the hairs of the beard of Zer and Ben are coarse and strong because they all compel judgments. When the holy mazel appears, when it wishes to wage war, it appears by means of this beard as a strong mighty man victorious in war than some. Pluck the hair on the back of the head and some from the front of the head. 174. Moses said these nine characteristics a second time in the portion of Shalash when he had to revert them all to mercy. For though he did not now recite the thirteen characteristics as in the portion of Tisa, it all depends on intention. For he would not mention these characteristics of Zeir and Ben that are not purely mercy but intended mazel, namely the thirteen characteristics of the beard of Eric and Ben and mentioned it as written and now I pray you let the power of my Lord be great. Bimid bar 1417 What is the power of Hashem? It is that which is called the most concealed holy mazel, the beard of Eric and Ben, the power and the light in the beard of Zeir and Ben derived from mazel. Once Moses said the nine characteristics of Zeir and Ben and mentioned mazel called the power of Hashem, he spoke the nine characteristics deriving from Zer and Ben so that they will all shine by a drawing of the thirteen of Eric and Ben and there will be no judgment evident because the thirteen of Eric and Ben are holy of mercy hence everything depends on Mazel which is the beard of Eric and Ben 175 at the beginning of the arising of the hairs the beard looks like a strong mighty man victorious in war to take revenge on the enemies of Israel the holy anointing oil flows on this beard from the concealed Atika Kaddish as written it is like the precious ointment upon the head running down upon the beard the beard of Aaron Tehillim 1332 the secret of the beard of Zeir and Ben section 42 the mouth of Zer and Ben we read that good and evil and life and death depend on the lips of Zer and Ben when the lips speak all the watchers awaken to decree punishments Rabbi Shimon explains what is meant by a watcher we learn that when words come out of the mouth of Zer and Ben they illuminate 18,000 worlds 176 these hairs of the beard do not cover the lips and the lips are holy red. As a lily is written, his lips like lilies. Sure, Hasherim 513. The lips whisper pure and whisper chakma. Good and evil depend on these lips, and life and death from these lips come out. Those who awaken, since when these lips whisper, they all awaken to decree punishments throughout the courts that are called watchers. As written, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the sentence. Daniel 414, 177. He asks, What is a watcher? Have IR and answers in the book of Gita. He explained that it is like in the words, Become your enemy. Have AR. I shall 2816 for judgments rouse against those who are not beloved above, which is why those that are roused to punish are their enemies and are called watchers. Nevertheless, punishment is decreed in two ways with mercy or with judgment. They are therefore called the watcher enemy and the holy one judgment and mercy. Namely, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the sentence by the words of the holy ones, where a watcher alludes to judgment. And holy ones to mercy 178 when the lips are open the mouth is seen thousands and tens of thousands are clothed in the air coming out of the mouth when the air expands the faithful prophets are clothed in it and are all called the mouth of Hashem when words come out of the mouth uttered by the lips they illuminate together all of 18,000 worlds until they all join together in 18 specific ways and paths 179 everyone awaits this mouth with the great speaking tongue with the unification. A polishing and adornment of this it is written his mouth lip palate is most sweet sure Hashirim 516 surely it is most sweet what is his palate it is as in the verse the palate tastes food 343 and he is altogether lovely sure Hashirim 516 namely fire and water for water and fire are formed and are pretty and lovely in their shape that is they are lovely to behold because the colors red and white join together that is the beauty appears from the blending of white and red together. Section 43 Allah Chet Ayin Gimel Yud Caf Kab Rabbi Shimon explains in detail how the four letters Allah Chet and Ayin are engraved on the throat and how those four are crowned with the four letters Gimel Yud Caf and Kab in the palate. We learned that the important thing is the balance of the three columns and Rabbi Shimon says that throughout his whole life he was always careful never to receive the left column on its own except for a single instance at which time he was warned not to do so by a flame of fire 180. His mouth lip palate is most sweet Sher Hashirim 516 because of the imprinted letters that are engraved on it with their crowns that is the sweetness in the mouth comes from the fact that the letters are engraved on it in the sequence of the three columns and the receiving mouth the sequence adorns them with crowns the letters Allah Chet and Ayin are engraved on the throat each with three columns of the three columns of Allah its right column. Drives kings away, the left column of Allah deposes kings from their kingdoms, and the central column establishes kings of the three columns of Shed. Its right column drives away and descends, the left column ascends and crowns, and the central column conquers with fire and engraves with wind of the three columns of hay that I has nourished from Ayame, that is of what the Nukba receives from Ayame. The right column of Ayame strikes the Nukba through the left column of Ayame, the Nukba spreads into a large Nukba. The central column of Ayame is in that, that through the desire of the holy city for Shesedim, it is connected with the central column, and the places of right and left are interconnected, as it says, the mountain of Mer and to the hill of frankincense. Sure, Hashirim 46 of the three columns of Ayame, its right column, Ayas, the clarity of the shape of the grade, its left column, Ayas, when the running bows join the engraved spirits at their sides, 181, and here in the secret of the letters of king. Solomon he says that these four letters Allah Chet and Ayin are crowned with the four letters Gimel Yad Caf in the palate hence three columns are indicated in the palate as well this is as in the palate taste food Eo 343 the secret of the right column can that which is unsavory be eaten without salt Eo 66 refers to the left column which before it is joined with the right cannot be enjoyed like unsavory food without salt and the verse and the work of righteousness shall be. Peace Yashaya 3217 is the central column that joins and establishes peace between the two columns right and left more to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold Tehillim 1911 refers to Malchut that receives the plenty of the three columns which are surely very sweet 182 King David after the words more to be desired that allude to the sweet and precious bounty of the three columns concludes moreover by them is your servant enlightened or careful of the twelve that is he is. Careful not to receive from the left column without the right Rabbi Shimon concludes I testify about myself that throughout my life I was careful of the three columns not to mistake in receiving the left column on its own except for one day when I crowned the king in the cave of Baronia when he was not careful to have the left united with the right and I saw a flame of burning fire across the cave that is he saw the judgments of the left column without the right which is a burning fire and I trembled since that day I am careful in my mind to receive only from the three columns together and never left them throughout my life blessed is the portion of he that is careful with the sweets of the king and taste of them judiciously it says of this so taste and see that Hashem is good Tehillim 349 and come eat of my bread Mishlei 95 section 44 building the back part of the Nukba of Zer Enpin Rabbi Shimon tells us how Malchut becomes attached to Zer Enpin. 183 The male which is Zeir and spread into his brain lobe of that and the corridors and chambers were filled namely Netzach hot and Yezid and Shizid Bura and Typhorat that starts at the top of the head and spreads throughout the body in its chest arms and the rest of it behind it the spark is touched by the hard lamp which is the illumination of the left column of glows and produces one head blocked on all directions with the illumination of the two brain lobes Chakma and Bida. Engraved in it it is attached to the male side from the back and hence is called my dope my undefiled head to Mady Sure Hashirim 52 do not pronounce it to Mady but rather it is Tio and my twin sister for sure 184 the hair of the Nukba which is Malchut includes the colors white red and green and is called purple as written and the hair of your head like purple Sure Hashirim 76 it is connected to five Bura from her aspect of Bura Malchut expands to become attached to the side. Of the male Zeir and that is to his back section 45 the formation of face to face of the Nukba of Zer and we are told that after Malchut separated from the sides of Zer and she joined him face to face when they are joined they seem like one body and all the worlds are joyful as on Shabbat when everything is
Shabbat day and hallowed it Shema 2011 since then everything is under the influence of a whole body since Malchut cleaved to the king on Shabbat and they are as one body therefore there are blessings on that day from this we deduce that whoever does not exist as male and female is considered a half body and no blessings rest on a blemished and wanting thing but on a whole place a whole thing not half a thing and a half thing does not last and is never blessed 187 all the beauty of it. Female comes from the beauty of the male we have already established these matters and they are known to the friends through this mukba namely from Malchut are all the lower beings of the three worlds of Briya Yitzra and Asiya united from here they are fed and to her they return because Malchut is the root for the three worlds under Atzalat she is considered a mother to them all just like the other bana is a mother to the body which is Zeir and been called body and the whole body is nourished. By it, by Bina, so is Malchut a mother to all the others below in Briya Yitzra and Asiya 188 it is written say to wisdom you are my sister Mishle 74 there is Chakma and there is Chakma namely supernal Chakma that is Abba and Ima and lower Chakma that is Malchut this mukba namely Malchut is called small Chakma in relation to the other which is supernal Chakma hence it is written we have a little sister and she has no breasts sure Hashirim 88 since this Chakma flows in. Exile IT therefore has no breasts to feed Yisrael. We have a little sister, certainly she seems little in exile, but she is large and great because she is perfection that receives from all Sfirat when Yisrael are in their land as written. I was a wall and my breasts were like towers. If it ten they are my breasts when they are full to feed everyone, they are like towers which are great rivers coming out of Supernal Ayame that are called towers. Section 46, the first three. Sfirat of the lights and the net sash hot and yizid of the vessels of Shaya of Zerenpin. Rabbi Shimon tells us about the great tree that is the whole body of Zerenpin, saying that this tree has food in it for everything. He outlines the Sfirat in terms of the positioning on the body and says that in yizid lies the whole desire of Zerenpin for Malchud. We are told that Zion is the covered place of Malchud, just like a woman's womb. 189, the male which is Zer and further expands to the right. And left of the inheritance of the possession, namely Chakma and Bina, called the inheritance of Abba and Ima. When the colors right on the right and red on the left join in the central column, it is called Tiferet, and the whole body is formed into a big and strong, comely, and handsome tree underneath it. Wild animals, the hosts of Bria, wander, and in its boughs dwell the birds of the sky, which are the hosts of Yetzirah, and it is food for everything. Its arms are right and left, Chisit and Gvira. The right are extended life, and Chisit on its left are extended death, and Gvira its bowels, that is its inner aspect, is fixed with that and fills all the corridors and all the chambers, which are Netzach, Hot, and Yezid, and Chisit, Gvira, and Tiferet, as I said, as written, and by knowledge are the chambers filled. Mishle 244, 190, the body further expands to the two legs, Netzach, and Hot, and between them unite two kidneys and two testicles of the male, which are the internal Netzach, and Hot from. The kidney, the liquid refuse flows to the external forces, and from the testicle, semen flows to souls for all oil greatness, and the force of the whole body is gathered in them. In the two testicles, as all the hosts that come out to Briya, Yetzra, and Asiya come out from them, they all dwell at the tip of the penis, which is why they are called hosts, and they are Netzach and Hot Typhoret, Ias called Yod Hey and Netzach and Hot are called hosts, Hep hence they are called together in the verse Hashem Seviat 191. The virile member of the male is the ending of the whole body and is called Yezid. It is a grave that sweetens Malchut, in which lies the whole desire of the male who is Zer and to Malchut, and that Yezid enters Malchut to the place called Zion, where is the covered place of Malchut, like a womb is to a woman, for that reason Yezid is called Hashem Seviat. Section 47 Face to face union of male and female principles in these last. Utterances of Rabbi Shimon he reminds the rabbis that when Zer and Malchut are united all the worlds are blessed and are in a state of complete joy he talks about the two grades above and below, Zion and Jerusalem, and says that no one is allowed into the Holy of Holies in this world except for the high priest that comes from the aspect of Chesed we learn that Zion is mercy and Jerusalem is judgment Rabbi Shimon says again that all the blessings flow from the brain of Zer and to all the body parts or Sfirah he tells the rabbis that at the end Chesed enters the Holy of Holies as written in for there Hashem has commanded the blessing even life forevermore 192 it is written for Hashem has chosen Zion he has desired it for his habitation Tehillim 13213 that is after Malchut separated from cleaving to his back and cleave to the king face to face on Shabbat night and everything became a single body then the Holy One blessed be he sits on his throne and everything is Consider the whole name a holy name, blessed be it forever and ever. I have brought all these matters up on this day so they will adorn it to the world to come and now they have been revealed here. Blessed is my portion with them. 193 When the queen is united with the king all the worlds are blessed and are in a state of complete joy just as the male is composed of three columns and the beginning is composed of three namely Chakma Bina and that so is everything for the body too is composed. Of the triad of Chesed, Vira and Tiferet and the ending of the body Netzach Hot and Yezid the queen is blessed only from these three Netzach Hot and Yezid and is sweetened and blessed from the place called the lower holy of holies which is Yezid for Eric and Ben and Abba and Ima are called the upper holy of holies and Yezid of Malchud is called the lower holy of holies as written for their Hashem has commanded the blessing Tehillim 1333 namely in Zion called the holy of holies for there are two. Grades above and below Zion and Jerusalem is it of Malchut is called Zion and Malchut of Malchut is called Jerusalem and Zion is called the Holy of Holies 194 for that reason none is allowed into the Holy of Holies in this world except for the high priest that comes from the aspect of Chesed since no one enters that place above that is Yezid of Malchut called Zion except that which is called Chesed of Zeir and the aspect of the high priest that enters the Holy of Holies Malchut is mitigated and the Holy of Holies is blessed to its innermost which is the place called Zion Zion and Jerusalem are two grades one mercy and the other judgment Zion is mercy as written Zion shall be redeemed with justice Yeshua 127 justice being mercy Jerusalem is judgment as written righteousness lost in it of 21 righteousness being judgment as we explained 195 the whole desire of the male which is Zeir and towards Malchut is here in Zion it is called the blessing since from their blessings are issued to all the worlds and everyone is blessed this place Zion is called holy and all holies namely the holy lights of the male who is Zer and entered there the great I mentioned Zion and all emerge from the supernal head of the skull of the male from the aspect of the lofty brain lobes that rest in it that blessing flows from the brain lobes to all the body parts Jesus Vira and Tiferet to those called hosts have Seviat Netzach and Hot since all that plenty coming from the whole body is gathered there in Netzach and Hot hence they are called hosts since all the higher and lower hosts in the three worlds of Briya Yitzra and Asiya come out from them from Netzach and Hot and after that plenty gathers there in Netzach and Hot it is placed in holy Yizid which is entirely white which is why it is called Jesus that Jesus enters the holy of holies as written for their Hashem has commanded the blessing even life forevermore section 48 The passing away of Rabbi Shimon ben Yekei Rabbi Abba recounts that after Rabbi Shimon uttered the word life all his words ceased the light in the room was so great that Rabbi Abba could not look and two voices were heard saying four length of days and long life and then he asked life of you we are told of the miraculous events that happened during the rest of that day 196 Rabbi Abba said the holy luminary barely finished uttering life when his words ceased I was writing and was about to write more yet heard nothing I did not raise my head because the light was great and I could not look I then trembled and heard a voice calling and saying four length of days and long life Mishle 32 and then I heard another voice he asked life of you Tehillim 215 197 all that day the fire did not cease from the house and no one reached him for they could not because of the light and fire that encircled him I was prostrate all that day on the ground crying loudly after the fire was gone I saw that the holy luminary the holy of holies was gone from the world wrapped around and lying on his right side with a smiling face 198 Rabbi Lazar his son rose took his hands and kissed them while I licked the dirt under his feet the friends
from the village of Xibari who wanted him to be buried there and came to take him by force the inhabitants of Moron drove them away and shouted at them in their multitudes because they did not want him to be buried there but where they themselves lived after the bed left the house it rose in the air and fire burned before it they heard a voice come and gather to the feast of Rabbi Shimon shall enter in peace to them that rest in their graves Yeshua 572 201 when he entered the cave. They heard a voice inside the cave this is the man who caused the earth to tremble who provoked kingdoms how many prosecutors in the firmament are quieted today for your sake this is Rabbi Shimon ben Yekei with whom his master glorifies himself daily blessed is his portion above and below how many supernal treasures await him of him it says but go you your way till the end before you shall rest and stand up for your allotted portion at the end of the days Daniel 1213 end of the Idra Kadisa. Due to the Holy Smaller Assembly section 49 Holy Holiness the Holy of Holies Rabbi Yussi and Rabbi Abba talk about the difference between Holy Nation and Holiness and we hear about the connection of these terms with Supernal Wisdom 202 Rabbi Yussi said how beloved are Israel before the Holy One blessed be he since at first he called them a Holy Nation as written for you are a Holy People Devarim 142 he then called them Holiness as written Israel is Holiness. To Hashem the first fruits of his increase Yermaya 23 what is the difference between them between Holy and Holiness Rabbi Abba said Holiness is the highest being Chakma for so have we learned that when all sanctifications which are the three columns Jesus, Bura and Tiferet are joined together they are called Holiness because then they rise and gather in the Supernal place called Holiness namely Supernal Chakma 203 hence Holy 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 which are Jesus, Bura and Tiferet the secret. Of the priests the Levites and Yisrael turn into Yisrael is holiness since Yisrael are adorned with these three grades when they join together they are called Yisrael is holiness or holy thing to Hashem which is first since then they receive from supernal Chakma called first or beginning we have explained that fruit is spelled with extra hay which indicates malchut that is called holiness when receiving from supernal Chakma all that devour him shall be held guilty of it what is meant by that Rabbi Abba said we have learned the verse and if a man eat of the holy thing unwittingly they I cross 2214 and no stranger shall eat of the holy thing if the ten Yisrael are considered a holy thing and hence all that devour him shall be held guilty 204 Rabbi Lazar said the beginning which is supernal Chakma and the ending of everything which is malchut are included in holiness and supernal Chakma is called holiness and when supernal Chakma shines Solomon's wisdom shines. As well, which is Malchut as written, and Solomon's wisdom excelled. I may lash him 510 when the moon, which is Malchut, stood in its fullness. This we have already explained. And when Malchut is blessed by Yezid, she is called holiness because she shines in her fullness. But when Malchut does not shine and not perfectly adorned, she is called the Holy Spirit. She is not called holiness like the supernal Chakma 205. When Malchut is blessed by Yezid and nourishes all the lower beings, she is called a mother like the one above, namely like Bina called the mother. Malchut is then called holy things or holies, and Yezid is then called holy of holies. Since with it she is a bride that is Yezid is holiness, and together with the bride that is called holies, it is the holy of holies as written. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Sure, Hashirim 48. What is Lebanon Eden, namely supernal Chakma? It is called Lebanon because it became white and in every direction, which means it shines with Jesus. Which is white in color both from the right and left sides, for it is the secret of supernal Abba and I am a that always have the meaning of because he delights in mercy. Misha 718 yet Chakma is bestowed on Malchut by the river that comes out of Eden, which is Bina Eden is already known to the friends. Section 50 When the time comes for a righteous man to pass away, he should disclose wisdom. We hear that when the time comes for a righteous man who is full of wisdom to die, he should reveal that wisdom to those who have the Holy Spirit among them. 206 We learn that it is written because I will call on the name of Hashem to 323. What is meant by that Rabbi Shimon said it is written, ascribe greatness to our Elohim Ibn Rabbi Shimon said as interpretation to the words of Rabbi Shimon, ascribe greatness refers to greatness, namely Jesus. He is the rock, his work is perfect, before his bureau, for all his ways are just as if it is Tiferet and El of truth. If it is Netzash and without iniquity is hot just as Yezid and right is righteousness namely Malchut thus everything is the holy name of the Holy One blessed be he namely the seven Sfirat Yezid Bura Tiferet Netzash Hot Yezid and Malchut this is why he said because I will call on the name of Hashem 207 Rabbi Yossi said ITIS the very name of Hashem which Moses revealed at that time to Yisrael as written I am 120 years old this day of Aram 312 now therefore write this poem for yourselves Ibid 19 from this we derive that when the time comes for a righteous man in whom rests lofty wisdom to pass away he should reveal that wisdom to those who have the Holy Spirit among them once do we know that from Moses as written I am 120 years old this day which means he revealed to them what he had not revealed to them until then 208 if he does not reveal to them that wisdom it says of him withhold not good from those to whom it is due. Mishlei 327 which is Torah that is called good as written for I give you good doctrine Mishlei 42 when it is in the power of your hand to do it Mishlei 327 before you pass away before you will not have permission to disclose section 51 because I will call on the name of Hashem Rabbi Shia makes it clear that God will only be close to those who call upon his name in truth part of this meaning is that God must be called upon with the quality of the central column not from the aspect of the left or right 209 Rabbi Shia said from this verse because I will call on the name of Hashem Devarim 323 I have learned celestial wisdom and it is so yet the end of the verse connects the knot of faith with the word he has written just and right is he which means he is everything he is one without division for if you say that all these names in the verse are many it says again he is they all amount to and connect and join into one and he is everything he was he is and he will be and he is one blessed is his name forever and ever hence matters are connected and the holy matters of the name of the holy one blessed be here join 210 happy is the portion of he who calls the king and knows how to call him properly if he calls yet knows not upon whom he called the holy one blessed be he keeps away from him as written Hashem is near to all those who call upon him Tehillim 14518 to whom is he near it says again to all who call upon him in truth if it is there anyone who calls upon him falsely Rabbi Abba said yes it is he who calls yet knows not upon whom he calls whence do we know that from the words to all who call upon him in truth what is in truth it is the seal of the king's ring which is the secret of the central column that seals the Mokin together with Malchut that is called the king's ring which is overall perfection this is the meaning of you will show truth to Jacob loyal love to Abraham which is 720 namely Z-E-I-R and that is the central column called Jacob's truth was bestowed on the central column this is why it is written to all who call upon him in truth and whoever knows not to call upon him with the quality of the central column but tends to the left column or the right column the holy one blessed be he draws away from him happy is the portion of whoever entered wisdom and came out whole to know the ways of the holy one blessed be he hence it is written but the path of just men is like the gleam of sunlight Mishlei 418 and your people also shall be all righteous Yeshua 6021 section 52 the wicked cause a damage so to speak above Rabbi Abba recalls that Rabbi Yitzhak said that all the structures devised in order to bestow blessings upon people cannot be effective because they are marred by the deeds of the wicked Rabbi Yossi says that when the wicked sin below the patriarchs above cannot receive their supply of blessings either 211 we learned that Rabbi it's Hawk said all these structures and these matters were given to the reapers of the field namely to those who have already finished the work of holiness and purification and have already merited to behold the fruit of their work we learned that the wicked cause so to speak blemish above the blemish accords with the verse not his the corruption but the blemish of his sons to 325 the damage is only in relation to the sons who cannot receive their plenty because all these structures devised in order to bestow upon the lower beings are not properly settled because of the deeds of the wicked this is the meaning of the blemish of his sons one verse says for he put on righteousness as a breastplate Yeshua 5917 and another verse says and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing but yet says Rabbi Yitzhak he put on righteousness
This is the meaning of the words of Rabbi Shimon that as long as there are many wicked men in the world the holy name is not blessed so to speak in the world and as long as there are not many wicked in the world the holy name is blessed in the world this is the meaning of the sinners will be consumed bless you Hashem all my soul hail you Yahya 10435 Rabbi Abba said this verse is certainly precise which says not his the corruption but the blemish of his sons who brought that blemish about a perverse and crooked generation to 325 because the evil people and that generation are in such a state 214 this is why after Moses said all these things and properly invoked the holy name he said surely just and right is he before when things are as they should be but not his the corruption but the blemish of his sons the reason it is so is that they are a perverse and crooked generation Rabbi Yehuda said not his means that the wicked bring it upon themselves causing Blessings to be missing from the world Rabbi Abba said not as was explained and it is so the following verse says do you thus require Hashem of it 6 that is you reward this way the Holy One blessed be he for all the good things he brought on you and performed before you section 53 and yet for all that when they are in the land of their enemies do you thus require Hashem Rabbi Abba says that even though Israel sinned and went into exile God and his Shechina are always with them Rabbi Yehuda wonders how Israel could repay God for his goodness by sinning and thus sending the Shechina into exile 215 Rabbi Abba opened with and yet for all that when they are in the land of their enemies Vayikra 2644 Israel are blessed above all other idolatrous nations since even though they have angered their master the Holy One blessed be he does not want to leave them as wherever they exiled among the nations the Holy One blessed be he is with them in exile this is the meaning of and yet for all that when they are in the land of their enemies 216 Rabbi Abba said and yet for all that when they are come and see how great is the love of the Holy One blessed be he for Israel even though they caused themselves to be in exile among the nations the Shechina never removed herself from them do not say that they are in exile alone but and yet for all that Hebzot as the Shechina called Zot is with them this is the meaning of and yet for all that when they are in the land of their enemies 217 it is like a king who was angry with his son and decreed that as punishment he should go away from him into a faraway land the queen heard it and said since my son is going to a faraway land and the king threw him out of his palace I shall not leave him the two of us shall either return to the king's palace or together dwell in another land after a few days the king visited the queen but did not find her because she left with his son he Said since the queen is there let both of them return 218 it will happen the same way when the holy one blessed be he will visit the Sheshanah he shall visit her first and for her sake visit his children this is the meaning of and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel Shemot 65 who brought it about that I have also heard the groaning it is as if the Sheshanah has caused it that I remembered her this is the meaning of and I have remembered my covenant but that is the Sheshanah called covenant it is also written and Elohim remembered his covenant Shemot 224 and when the holy one blessed be he will bring Israel back from exile it is written Hashem your Elohim will turn your captivity and have compassion upon you Devarim 303 it is the Sheshanah whom it says will turn your captivity it is also written Hashem you have been favorable to your land you have brought back the captivity of Jacob Taylor 852 namely the Sheshanah called land 219 Rabbi Yehuda said, Do you thus have Zot requite Hashem? Devarim 326, you are a perverse and crooked generation. Ibn 5, you cause Zot to go into exile. Do you thus have Zot requite Hashem? Is this how you requite him for all that he did to you? For all those signs he performed for you, is this the reward you pay to Zot who brought it upon you? It is because you are a foolish people and unwise. Ibn not looking at all the good he did for you until now. Section 54, Hey of Behi Baram Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Shia discuss how God went with Israel into exile because if he had not done so, the people would not have been able to bear it. God never forgot his covenant with them. We also hear a discussion of the generations of the heaven and of the earth, and we learn that the three worlds were created both from Zer and Ben and Malchut. The world to come by is created with Chakma. We hear again about the flow from Chakma that finally gathers in the great sea that is. Malchut from there the generations come out to all the worlds 220 do you thus have Zod requite Hashem Devarim 326 Zot is the Shechina we have explained this issue that we learned that Hay of when they were created had Behi Baram Bereshit 24 is small alluding to Malchut Hay and do you have Ha is large alluding to Bani it has been said that we learned what Rabbi Yehuda said Hay always alludes to the Holy One blessed be he and is called the mother there are two worlds Bani and Malchut of which it is written from everlasting lit world to everlasting Tehillim 10648 that is from Bani to Malchut we have learned this in regard to the meaning of the words mingled with the fourth part of a hint of beaten oil Gimit bar 285 which means that Yezid of Zeir and draws oil from the supernal world to the lower world which is Malchut this is the meaning of do you thus require Hashem which combines together three grades which are the upper world which is the large Hay of Duyud. Hey Bob Hay itself which is Zeir and that draws plenty from it to Zot which is the Sheshina 221 we learned that Rabbi Yehuda said I have looked in several places that the Holy One blessed be he did not withdraw his love from Israel for wherever they were the Holy One blessed be he was among them as written I will not cast them away nor will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them Vayikra 2644 with them is exact which means that the Holy One blessed be he is among them and never left them 222 Rabbi Yitzhak was walking along the way when Rabbi Shia came across him he said to him I see in your face that you dwell in the dwelling of the Sheshina it is written and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egypt Shema 38 it is written and had Bob I am come down yet it should have been I am come down so Bob is redundant he answers and I am come down means beforehand since the Bob is the prefix of the past tense when is that when Jacob went down to Egypt the Holy One blessed be he went down with him why did he come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egypt for had he not been among them they would not have been able to tolerate the exile as written I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him Tehillim 9115 223 he said to him surely wherever Israel dwell the Holy One blessed be he is among them and wherever the sages of the generation go the Holy One blessed be he goes with them as written for he shall give his angels charge over you Tehillim 9111 we derive it from the verse and Jacob went on his way and when Jacob saw them he said this is Elohim's camp Bereshit 322 to 3 surely let us now join together and walk the path I know as we are walking to a certain place to welcome the Sheshina namely to Rabbi Shimon Bar he said to him ITIS certainly so Rabbi Yitzhak said we have learned that those who act as messengers to perform a good deed are harmed neither in they're going nor in returning and we are going to be seen before the Holy One blessed be he so we are not afraid 224 while they were walking Rabbi Shia said it is written these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth Bereshit 24 the heaven comes to include the Holy One blessed be he namely Zeir and called heaven and the earth comes to include the Holy One blessed be he who is Malchut called earth and all that is below Atzalot namely the three worlds Briya Yitzhara and Asiyah called the generations of heaven and of earth from which they were brought forth namely from Zeir and Malchut 225 he said to him in that case what is when they were created had Behi Baram we learned that Behi Baram and with Hay he created them namely with Malchut yet you say they are the generations of heaven and earth namely from Zeir and as well he said to him it is all the same thing since when heaven which is Zeir and joined with Malchut then is Hay which is Malchut produced generations which are called the generations of the heaven and of the earth he said to him if that is so why have we explained that Bihagaram means be Abraham and with Abraham which is spelled with the same letters how is Abraham connected with this he said to him it is all the same be Abraham is Jesus of Zeir and that is called Abraham that is he is the heaven that is Zeir and for from there from the sphere of Jesus Zeir and begins to spread that is the first sphere of Zeir and is Jesus and so the name Abraham also alludes to Zeir and like the name heaven is for what has been said is that Bihagaram is the earth which is Malchut thus heaven and earth are indicated in the word Bihagaram and all this is the same issue 226 he said to him it is surely so I have learned that it is written these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth and we have learned that this
Chakma that is called Lebanon as the streams are adorned above with Chakma and rise to the head of the king namely to the three first Sfirat of Zeir and Pen as written for your steadfast love Shisa is great above the heavens Tehillim 1085 since they are drawn from Chakma which is above Zeir and Pen called heaven since they are drawn from Chakma which is above Zeir and Pen called heaven 228 he explains his words from Lebanon which is Chakma come out streams namely plenty to buy and flow and are drawn to all corners namely to the four winds Shisa and Bura Tiferet and Malchut of Zeir and Pen until those found stream and come down together in that place called the Great Sea namely Malchut as written all the rivers run into the sea Kahilat 17 which means that the streams of Shisa and Bura Tiferet and Malchut of Zeir and Pen run to Malchut that is called Sea it is also written look to the rock once you are hewn Yeshea 511 which is Abraham namely Shisa of Zeir and been following and streams from Lebanon it is written the garden enclosed is my sister my bride Sher Hashirim 412 which is Malchut that receives the streams from Zeir and Pen from it from Malchut generations came out to all worlds as written when they were created had Behi Baram he created them with Ahab Behi Baram which is Malchut that is actually with Abraham who is Jesus of Zeir and Pen the secret of the streams that flow from supernal Chakma that is called Lebanon to Zeir and Pen and from Zeir and Pen to Malchut and from them to all the generations in Bria Yitzra and Asiya Rabbi Yitzhak said even with Jacob himself who is Tiferet of Zeir and Pen since Tiferet includes within it Jesus and Bura it is all the same issue section 55 can a woman forget her sucking child Rabbi Shia has received a spirit message about the title verse that he does not understand and so he is going to see Rabbi Shimon for an interpretation Rabbi Lazer explains in the name of his father that Israel are God's children and so they cannot possibly be forgotten God can no more forget his children than he can forget his own name because they are attached to his name 229 Rabbi Yitzhak said when we sit before Rabbi Shimon everything is said openly before him and we have no need for all this that is they do not need to conceal anything there under names and terms he said to him Rabbi Shimon is not like other men who are all before him like the other prophets before Moses while they were walking Rabbi Shia said it is written can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb Yeshayah 4915 this verse has been explained yet here in an inner sense what does it mean he said to him if in the gathering of the friends we were not supported in interpreting this verse what could we say 230 he said to him I have heard a voice that hinted to me about the interpretation of the verse one day when I was walking on the way but I knew not who said it and I do not understand it come and see for seven days I have been ill because of that and ate nothing now that I am going to the holy luminary so he will tell me I may remember Rabbi Yitzhak said to him it could have been on the very day Rabbi Lazar was going to his father-in-law I accompanied him that day and now have remembered it 231 come and see thus said Rabbi Lazar in the name of his father Israel said before the holy one Bless be he ever since we fell into exile the holy one bless be he left us in exile and forgot us this is the meaning of but Zion said Hashem has forsaken me and my lord has forgotten me but 14 the Sheshana said can a woman forget her sucking child for Israel are considered children as written you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 and how could they be forgotten that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb resembles and I have planted you a noble Find an entirely right seed, Yermeah 221, even these may forget, Yeshayah 4915, as in these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth, Bereshit 24, yet I will not forget you, Yeshayah 4915, from this we derive that the Holy One, blessed be he never leaves, Yisrael 232, he also says that can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb, is a lofty secret that the Holy One, blessed be he said, these things are connected with my name, just as the Holy One, blessed be he does not forget his name, which is everything, so does the Holy One, blessed be he not forget Israel because they are truly attached to his name, Rabbi Shia trembled and said, surely these are the words I heard, but forgot, blessed be the Holy One, blessed be he that I have met you and knew it, and also knew from whom I heard it, 233, come and see on the same day I heard this voice that indicated to me this explanation, I ran four miles but didn't find who said it, Rabbi. It's Hawk said to him this is because we went into a cave and Rabbi Lazar rested there and our Rabbi Shia recited about him these verses namely of the time he merited to be with Rabbi Lazar in the cave then shall your light break forth like the morning then shall you call and Hashem shall answer Yeshayah 588 to 9 then shall you delight yourself in Hashem Ibn 14 section 55 remember the days of old consider the years of many generations Rabbi Abba says that the days of the world are the six days with which God created the world and that these six days are the Sfirat Shisid Bura Tiferet Net Sashat and Yezid when the six days created the world they did it for the sake of the children of Israel so that they would come and study the Torah if they did not the world would return to chaos 234 remember the days of old consider the years of many generations Devarim 327 remember the days of old the world Rabbi Abba said what are the days of it? World there are the six days with which the Holy One blessed be he created the world as written for six days Hashem made heaven and earth Shema 3117 rather than in six days because they are the six Fira Chisit Bura Tiferet Net Sashat and Yezid that created the world we have already explained it consider the years of many generations means that the days of the world Chisit Bura Tiferet Net Sashat and Yezid will be known and acknowledged by all these years and days and each end every generation to the generation in which you live 235 ask your father and he will recount it to you Devarim 327 is the Holy One blessed be he this is the meaning of is not he your father that bought you of it six and he will recount it to you means that he will disclose to you depth of wisdom what is it when the six days Chisit Bura Tiferet Net Sashat and Yezid comprehended the world they did so only for your sake that you will come and be occupied in Torah as we have learned Whatever the Holy One blessed be he did he did on condition that Israel will appear if they will receive the Torah good otherwise the world will return to chaos for this reason the days of the world knew and realized everything 236 we have learned how the boughs of the tree namely the 70 ministers of the nations are connected within the tree which is Zeir and we have explained that the Holy One blessed be he then split the 70 ministers into officers and protectors over the rest of the nations and of you Israel it is written for Hashem's portion is his people Jacob is a lot of his inheritance Devarim 329 since he gave them not to a minister an angel or any other officer as he took as his portion this nation of the Holy One blessed be he 237 where did he find them it is written he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness of the ten terror the father of Abraham and I took your father Abraham Yahashua 242 to 3 since then he guided Israel in every generation and did not separate from them and let them with compassion as it says as an eagle stirs up her nest Devarim 3211 section 57 as an eagle stirs up its nest Rabbi Yossi talks about the compassion that an eagle has for its children and he derives part of the meaning from Jacob's role as representative of the central column the eagle is merciful toward its own children yet harsh toward others this is the way that God guides his own children 238 as an eagle stirs up her nest Devarim 3211 Rabbi Yossi said we have found no one that has compassion over his children like this eagle hence we learn the verse the face of a lion on the right side and they forehead the face of an ox on the left side Yashiskel 110 where is the place of the eagle in the place where Jacob is situated namely in the central column that includes right and left this is the meaning of the way of the vultures in the air Mishlei 3019 in that very place namely in Zeir and that is called heaven which is the central column the reason is that it is merciful towards its children and harsh towards others so does the holy one blessed be he who includes right and left which is Jesus and judgment guide his children like the eagle 239 it is written so Hashem alone did lead him and there was no strange elf with him Devarim 3212 that is none guides Israel neither an angel nor another officer that are called a strange elf this is the meaning of Moses words if your presence go not with me carry us not up from here Shema 3315 this is the meaning of so Hashem alone did lead him he alone and there was no strange elf with him 240 happy is the portion of Israel that the holy one blessed be he guides them
Take revenge on their enemies. Rabbi Yehuda says that Abraham said Israel should be forced into exile rather than go to Gehenom because they could not bear both the years of exile and Gehenom. To God agreed that as long as Israel sinned, they would fall into exile and be enslaved by their enemies. 241. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this. Devarim 3229. Rabbi Yehuda said all the verses here are reproofs with which Moses admonished Israel, except for the holy name he disclosed at the beginning of his words, namely because I will call on the name of Hashem of the three, which are the secret of Chesed, Vira, Tiferet, Netzach, and Yezid. Rabbi Yehuda said even the verses in which he admonished Israel are part of the holy name because there is nothing in the Torah that is excluded from the holy name, as the whole Torah is the name of the Holy One. Blessed be He. 242. The verses we have explained so far are known to everyone, but since the name of the Holy One, blessed be He is. Mentioned in this portion, we had to explain them until now. But here it is written, oh, that they were wise, that they understood this. Hebzad assuredly, Zad who is Malchut. We have explained it in several places that if Israel knew how Zad held to its punishments to take revenge on the wicked, they would consider their latter end. Devarim three thousand two hundred and twenty nine, and take care to be in it. That is to keep its commandments, as written. The earth which is Malchut shall rise up against him. Eo twenty twenty seven two hundred and forty three. Another explanation for oh, that they were wise, that they understood this. Hebzot is that when Zad is attached to Israel, that is when they keep the commandments of the Torah and dwell with it holy. They shall know they have with them the help of Zad in taking revenge on their enemies. And Israel, who are a minority among the nations, shall know how should one man chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight. Devarim three thousand two hundred and thirty. Who brought it about Zad, which was holy, and when they performed it. Commandments of the Torah and it will never leave them or leave wreaking vengeance for them on their enemies. 244 Unless their rock had sold them and Hashem had shut them up. But what is the reason their rock had sold them? It is because of the rock that begot you. You are unmindful of it. 18 As these structures do not properly rest in their place, their rock had sold them. Rabbi Yehuda said, This is Abraham. As we explained that Abraham said, Let Israel be forced into exile rather than go to Gehenom because Israel cannot bear these years of exile. And Gehenom and the Holy One, blessed be he, agreed with him that as long as Israel sinned, they will fall into exile and their enemies will enslave them for that reason that their rock had sold them. Surely, namely Abraham who delivered them into exile and Hashem had shut them up since he agreed with him. Section 59 The reason Moses admonished them. Rabbi Yehuda talks about why Moses admonished them with his. Poem when they were about to enter the promised land 245 we learned Rabbi Yehuda said what is the reason Moses admonished them in this poem it is that they were about to enter the land of Israel and the Shechinah was about to rest among them for that reason he admonished them about that 246 Rabbi Yitzhak said the Holy One blessed be he will admonish Israel in two places and the nations in the world will rejoice the first is as written Hashem has also a controversy with Judah and will punish Jacob according to his ways Hashia 123 the nations of the world hear and rejoice they say now these will be wiped away from the world but when the Holy One blessed be he saw them rejoicing it is then written he took his brother by the heel in the womb before when they heard that they said this means repentance for the iniquities of Israel 247 this is like a woman who had a quarrel with her son she went to cry out and sue him when she saw the judge judging criminal laws Sentencing some to whipping and some to hanging or burning, she said, Woe if I shall do so to my son, that is, she began to fear lest he will sentence her son to to one of these punishments. When the judge finished the trial, he said to that woman, Tell me what your son did. She said to him, I complained, the end is missing. According to this, it seems that she said she complained that he pained her in her womb when she was pregnant with him. Of course, the judge did nothing to him for that. Section 60 from the book of Physician Cartana, we learned about the things written in the book of Physician called Cartana, who wrote about the care a wise physician needed to take of people who were sick. A correspondence is made between sick people and those who are ill in the sense that they cannot worship God. God wishes there to be a wise physician who can help people to get well, that is, to repent and atone for their sins. If the physician can administer medicine for the body, it is. Well, but otherwise he should give a person healing for his soul. God will bless such a physician in this world and in the world to come. We hear that some of the remedies in the book of Cartana were permitted to use and some were forbidden. Rabbi Lazar had had the book in his possession for 12 months and learned many mysteries from it, but eventually he was told in a dream that he should not use the book, so he gave it away to Rabbi Yussi. Rabbi Lazar concludes Hayazanu by blessing God for abolishing witchcraft from the world. 248 He found him in a desert land and in the waste of Arm 3210. Surely he afterwards caused all these clipot in the wilderness and in the desert to be all enslaved to Israel. The verses heretofore were written in the book of a physician called Cartana. He used to write under this verse all the care a wise physician needs to take of the sick in their bed. That is, it is a custom of the physician to first write down before him the state he found it. Patient in and then to prescribe medicine in this order were these verses arranged here in that book. At first the book mentioned the verses he found him in a desert land, namely the state in which he found the patient. Then he used to write the next verse in which is written all the care a wise physician has to take of a sick man lying in bed in the prison of the prisoners of the king that is they are ill in the sense that they cannot worship the master of the universe. 249 This is what he wrote in that book when a wise physician visited a sick man he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness that is since illnesses rest on him he is placed in the king's jail in a waste wilderness. You may say that since the holy one blessed be he ordered to detain him in jail one must not try for his sake to cause him to repent. This is not so as David said blessed is he who considers the poor tail 412 that sick man who lies on his bed is poor if his neighbor is a wise. Physician the Holy One blessed be he blessed whoever strives for his sake 250 he explains his words that physician found him in a desert land namely lying on his sick bed and in the waste howling wilderness beset by illnesses what should he do he led him about the barm 3210 to bring about reasons and excuses to withhold from him what is harmful to him to let his blood and take out of him the evil blood he instructed him he should observe and understand the origin of the disease and make sure the disease will not spread but diminish then he kept him as the apple of his eye but so that he will be properly kept in regard to the drinks and the medicines he needs and not get confused between them for if he confuses even one thing and dies the Holy One blessed be he considers that doctor as if he shed blood and killed him 251 for the Holy One blessed be he wishes it that though that person is in the king's prison and is imprisoned they are unable to free himself someone will make an effort for him and help him get out of jail and he used to say the Holy One blessed be he above sentences the people in the world either to death to be uprooted from the root both one and one's children to be punished in property or to be put in jail whoever is sentenced to a punishment regarding his property falls ill and is not healed until he pays whatever he was sentenced to after being punished in his money and having given whatever he was sentenced to he is healed and leaves prison this is why one must persuade him to serve his penalty and leave prison 252 whoever is sentenced to uprooting he is seized and put in prison until he is uprooted in every sense that is until he and his children die sometimes he is uprooted in limbs or in one of them whoever is sentenced to death it so happens that he dies and even if he gives his ransom all the money in the world he cannot be saved 253 a wise physician is therefore needed to make efforts for him if he can Administer bodily medicine it is well otherwise he should give him healing for his soul and strive for healing for the soul the Holy One blessed be he will strive to bless such a physician in this world and in the world to come until hear the words of the book of the physician Cartana 254 Rabbi Lazar said I have never heard until now of this doctor Cartana and of this book except once when a merchant told me he heard from his father that there used to be a doctor in his time who when he would look at a person in his bed he would pronounce this one shall live that one shall die they say about him that he was a truly righteous who feared sin whatever the patient had to get but could not afford he used to buy and give of his own they say there was none as wise in the world as he, he used to do more in his prayer than what he would do with his hands it seems to us it is the same doctor Cartana 255 that merchant said surely his book of that doctor is in my possession I Inherited it from my father's father, all the subjects of that
book we will know what it says and I shall deliver it that is he will give a promise to show it to the holy luminary his father Rabbi Shimon we learned that Rabbi Lazar said that book was in my possession 12 months and I have found in it supernal precious mysteries when I reached the secrets that came from Balaam I was amazed 258 one day I made an incantation in a certain place and the letters went up and down until I saw him in my dream telling me it is not your business going into it field that is not your own you do not need it and I woke up it was difficult for me to part with this book because it contained concealed mysteries I sent it to that Jew Rabbi Yossi son of Rabbi Yehuda by name and gave him that book 259 in the secrets of Bailam I found some of the names of the angels Balak sent to him but they were not properly arranged but I have found different kinds of medicines in it in that book based on the structures of the Torah and its hidden mysteries and saw they are founded on piety prayers and petitions to the Holy One blessed be he if you argue that he used to practice medicine using words of Torah or the secrets of the Torah heaven forbid because it is forbidden to do so but he would speak secrets of the Torah and based on that secret he would invent medical secrets such as I have never seen I said blessed is the merciful who made people wise with celestial wisdom 260 from the words of Bailam I received and saw from them that there was no one in the world as knowledgeable in witchcraft as he I said blessed is the merciful who abolished witchcraft from the world so they will not mislead and remove people from fearing the Holy One blessed be he may his name be exalted and blessed amen blessed is Hashem forever and ever may Hashem reign forever and ever amen and amen.